Hello, hello everybody. How's everybody doing? Happy Monday. If you can't tell, I'm really excited to be back. <laughs> but hello, Denny, Philosophy, Magic, and Cuban. How have you been? I hope you're doing well. And welcome to, like I said, welcome to my side of the streaming world. Cuban, I hope you're doing well. I hope everything is going well. What's going on? Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, I have returned and this is hopefully the return for good. Hopefully I will be back from here on out, you know, minus having to take a mental day or having to take Danny. <laughs> First day back. Requires reinstatement of this prime sub. In your face. Liz K floating hearts. <laughs> I love how love how the bot said that. Denny, thank you so much for the resub. I appreciate it. I can't believe 20 months already. Holy hell. Denny, thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. And using your prime here always, always is amazing. I appreciate you so much. And I missed you guys so much. I love your energy. Thank you. I'm excited. I'm excited to be back. You guys have no idea. You guys have no idea how excited I am to be back. It's been, um, uh, well, I streamed what two weeks ago. Um, one like really late night stream just because I wanted to get in the Texas Chainsaw game before it, um, stopped on its, its free it's test. So I've been. I was here two weeks ago. Blast! No, you guys do it. 17 months, beautiful. I love you. You are absolutely amazing. And I'm so proud to call you my friend. And you got this. It's time to wow, so thank you so much. Magic, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Cuban. I appreciate that. And not you guys starting a hype train. How dare you? <laughs> Unlocked Magic gifted a tier one sub to Bearded Brother Bear. They have given 158 gift subs in the channel. Magic. Magic, I love you so much. Thank you so much for that gifted sub. I appreciate you. I miss you too so, so much. I miss you guys so, so much. So, so much. Life has just been... Not so much fun the last... Like, well, not even the last month. Like, it's just the last couple weeks. And I don't want to talk about it because it'll probably set me off. But if you guys want to know more... Those who haven't been here, it's all up in my Discord and everything. But um, short story is um, basically I lost my mama. And it's really hard to talk about, so I'm not really going to talk about it much. But that's why I've been gone. Um, because I just had to deal with that. And I appreciate you guys so much for reaching out to me and my family. We appreciated it so much. It was an extremely hard time. It's still a very hard time. We're still really adjusting to everything, but slowly but surely it's it's getting there. And this is like the first for me, like big step into going, getting back to normal. And I'm just I'm more than happy to be here today. I am more than happy because it feels normal, if you know what I mean. It feels normal like it. I. I don't feel like I'm sitting around just kind of like thinking about everything and all that, but like, I don't even know what to say. It's like even hard to even say anything other than that. <laughs> all the subs, yes. I appreciate you guys. You guys don't have to, but I appreciate it nonetheless. And thank you Blossom for posting that. Yeah, if anyone wants to join the Discord, that is my Discord. And we have a bunch of channels in there, lots of fun. Like I said, I posted updates of what was going on and everything. Um, like I said, I just, I'm not going to talk about it because I could already feel myself like wanting to like break down and cry, but I'm not going to. I know it's okay too, but I've done that enough for the past like, you know, two weeks and everything. Lunatic, hello. How are you? Thank you so much for making Sally Diaz. We got you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you guys so much. And like I said, this is like the first step back to to normal for me. So I'm excited to be here and everything. Be back in a bit. No worries, Blossom. Take care, Mama. It's very important. Safe travels to her appointments and everything. And I will see you very soon. But 
right now we're gonna be playing disney today i thought about playing dead by daylight because i haven't played it on stream in i don't know how long because the last time i streamed we played the texas chainsaw game and that was two weeks ago but i'm gonna try and get back onto just my schedule so today is Monday. We'll be playing a variety game. Disney had a big update come out last week sometime. I have not looked at it at all, meaning I haven't even opened the game other than today. I'm going to check it out if I get bored, just not wanting to play, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, a more chill game. I'll probably switch to DVD, but I'm going to try and hold off because tomorrow the new chapter comes out. And I'm super excited. I haven't got to see a lot about the new chapter i played the ptb for like five minutes when it came to um custom bots or custom matches excuse me because i just wanted to see what the singularity was about i didn't play on the servers because it was like almost a week later and i didn't know if anyone was playing and i didn't want to wait in the queues so i haven't played any survivor parts of it but I played the Singularity just to see what he was like, or they were like, and everything. And I was confused. But I'm still excited for the new chapter. I'm very excited for the new chapter tomorrow. I'm doing all right. Glad to see you have a comeback on Twitch. Yes! I'm glad you're doing all right. And I'm super happy to be back. I really am. Um, so when it comes to my schedule, it's going to be the same, except for I'm taking away Saturday. And I'm putting it back to Friday. So it'll be Monday, Wednesday, Fridays instead of Saturdays from here on out because now I try and spend my weekend with my dad. So I like to spend my weekend with him as much as possible because during the week I'm trying to like work on stuff or work around the house or things like that. So on Saturday I like to chill and hang out with him since he doesn't have my mama anymore. I like to do that for him. So I'll be here on Fridays now and I think I will probably do my Swifts on Saturday or excuse me on Fridays. But I'm not positive if that's what I'm going to do. But I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to make it the exact same as Saturday, except for just pushing it up a day and doing it on Friday instead. Um, but it'll be same time, 1 p.m. Pacific time and all that. That's really the only change when it comes to streams. Is Friday will be on Monday. Um, DVD Wednesday, I'll, I'll try to do my killer survivor rotation that I haven't done in ages. Like, I haven't played killer in two months. Because I have two rotations or two seasons, I have not um, got any BP for my killer because I've not played. So we'll try to get back into that. But this Wednesday, we'll be checking out the new chapter and new chapter only, most likely. I'm so excited. I am too. Uh, you're doing amazing. I appreciate that. I really do. I'm doing my best. <laughs> In all aspects and everything, I'm doing my best. And that's all you can ask for. That's all you can ask for with anything. Just do your best. And again, um, when it comes to like, how do you say it? I appreciate everyone who reached out to me the past two weeks. I, I, it took me a few days to let you guys know what was going on, but I told a lot of people like separately what was going on and everything. And I appreciate y'all being there for me because it was hard. I had, it was really hard last two weeks. This past week has been better. Um, I've been chilling with friends, hanging out and everything, playing games. And that was my first step was to just even be online. And once I got that kind of like taken, or not taken care of, but like feeling better. Then it was time to start streaming and I think it was the perfect time. Because one, we got new stuff coming out in DVD. Super excited for it. Been looking forward to it basically since the chapter was announced. And then Disney had an update, which I'm excited to check out. And then, yeah, I'm just excited. I'm just happy to be here. I really am. Your channel is super cute. Thank you. I appreciate that. I put a lot of work into my channel. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things to do is work on my channel, which I haven't actually done in quite a while, like even before everything started happening. But it's one of my favorite things to do is just mess with stuff on Twitch or my streaming or anything. It, I don't know what it is about it. I just love messing with it. I'm going to buy the chapter and then I need to add some money to get games extra cosmetics. Yes, my luscious lift man. <laughs> I do, I, I'm so sad that I didn't get to play the PTV because I didn't get to play him. Not at all. I like I got I 
downloaded the PTV like on um like Saturday or Sunday or something. And I was like, okay, I just want to play the singularity because I want to see what they're about. Like, how do they work? What's it about? You know, and all that stuff. And I should have tried maybe one match, but usually on PTVs by like the weekend, nobody's really playing anymore. So servers get really slow or not servers, but like queue times. So I was like, ah, I'll just wait until the chapter actually comes out. And then I'll just I'll do what I normally do. We'll play survivor, try and adept him. Then we'll move over to killer, try and adept the new killer. And then we'll just stick to those two characters for most of the day. So we'll do that Wednesday. And then on Friday, I'll do my normal stuff. And like I said, Friday, we'll probably do Swifts too, but I'll let you guys know. But I was kind of sad I, I missed the PTV because I love new chapter ones. But just at that time, there was a lot going on. Like, I think I missed... I was going to stream, but yeah, because they kept changing my mom's appointments around, like legit, every time we took her to her appointment, they changed the time and day. And it was like, oh my God, I cannot get anything going like stable for like anything, like not just me, but like for her and our family is like, oh my God, every day, like they would change her appointment to a new day and time. So I had to cancel, which I was super sad about because I was looking forward because I was going to play with Denny and we're, we're going to stream the chapter. Or the PTB with the new chapter. And I was so sad that they're like, nah, could you bring your mom in on Wednesday? And I was like, no. <laughs> I got things I want to do. But no, I had to take care of that. But um, I did end up downloading it just to see the killer. And I played on bots. And I still didn't understand it. I, or I shouldn't say I didn't understand it. I didn't enjoy playing them. But I feel like it was because it was against bots. I think in, on Wednesday when um, it's on live servers, it'll be much better. But it, it was awkward to play against bots with the, the new killer, in my opinion, but I don't know. By the way, the anti-slug isn't happening. No, uh, they're not going to add the base kit unbreakable, but they're still working on the killer's, killer's finishing more. Is, oh, no, they took away the base kit unbreakable. They're not going to do that. No, damn. <laughs> that sucks. I'm glad they're still working on the Moris, though. Yeah, I have heard nothing. Like, DVD news is very foreign to me right now. I don't know a lot. I know some things here and there, but not a lot. I can't wait. I hope that they get the finishing Moris worked out, because I thought that's a cool idea, but the one they had on the PTV, what, months ago? No, that wasn't going to work. That was bad. They're going to do the... But they're going to do the... um, And maybe you would know this, Denny, because I think I asked Ryan last night, and he didn't know which wasn't surprising, uh, but <laughs> the, um, God, what do you call it? The anti-camping thing that they're implementing. Is that coming out with this update or is that a future thing? I don't remember. The, I don't remember what they called it, but just the anti-camping thing. I don't want to automatically be worried. I don't know. I'm kind of like on the fence about it. I kind of do because I love Moris, but then at the same time, I think about it. And I think I might like in time get tired of it, if you know what I mean. I, I don't know. It's like I kind of want to see it. But then again, I think I might just get bored by it. I wasn't happy about that. Fin yeah, I didn't even play that PTV because of that. I heard so much bad things about it. And saw bad things about it that I was just like, I'm good. I'll skip this PTV. Because I usually, I don't really play PTVs anymore unless they're new chapter ones because they're boring most of the time. And after that one, like I had planned on playing it and then I heard all that stuff and I was just like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'll skip this one. Because I just, I didn't want to, I didn't, no, I didn't want to see that. Oh, it's a future, okay, it's a future thing. I thought so, but I couldn't remember. I, I thought it was a future thing, which makes sense. Because something that big, usually when they bring it to the PTB, it usually is like a couple of months later. But I just, I couldn't remember. They're also working, we're working the offer. They're working the offering system. Ooh, uh, that needs a rework. I agree. I did not hear that though. But that, I think that needs it. Oh, well, that's true. Because slug everyone and you get more, it is not right. Yeah. If they can 
do it in a, the right way. I don't even know what the right way would be. I think it would be okay. But it could, yeah, it, it would make DVD boring because of the slug. And slugging is already a thing. So adding that could cause it to even be worse. But I'm just hoping that whenever they do rework it, it, I don't even know what to do. Like, I usually have, like, suggestions, like, what I think they should do. That one, I have no freaking idea. My only thing is, holy hell. I scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Hi, gamer. How are you? Uh, thank you so much for playing Bang for 100 videos. I always have to make sure I word that correctly. Thank you so much for that. How have you been, my friend? Yeah, but my only, like, thought to it would be, like, the automatic Mori would be for the only the last person. Which would be a, kind of a bummer for, like, the previous three. Or not previous three, but the other three in the match. But that would be my only thing I could think about. Oh, I hit the volume on my earphones. Y'all got loud for a minute. And I wouldn't mind that, like, the last survivor standing when everybody else is dead, or maybe, like, last person on hook or something. Or one person on hook, I mean. The more he goes up, that's my only suggestion. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Uh, doing good? Melting? No, you can move here. It's really cold here today. Or not cold, it's cool here today. Also, did you, I did hear that, yes. VHS is completely closing down. It hasn't left early access and people who have bought the Founders Pack won't be refunded. I did not hear that though, holy hell. Poor people who bought the Founders Pack. That's not, that's, that's not cool. That should not be a thing. That shouldn't even be legal. If the game never technically, well, I don't know. I guess there's a loophole there because the game was access accessible. But if you bought a Founders Pack and the game never came out, shouldn't you be refunded? It's honestly not surprising, though. The VHS is completely shutting down. It, it had such potential, but... Nah. I don't know. That's right, and Friday the 13th was officially, like, closing. Or it was it officially closing or just like, um, what was it? I can't think of the word I'm looking for. Like, just not going to be available for sale. There's a heat wave going on over here at the moment. Ooh, 32. Ugh. Ugh. That's not good. I, I know enough to know that that's hot. Because <laughs> I'm a Fahrenheit person, but my brother's been trying to teach me Celsius, and I know when he says it's going to be 32 outside, I know it's not good here. Uh, and it's not improving in the next week, and the previous week was also just too hot. Ugh. What? The most expensive founder pack was $100? Oh my god, and people who bought that aren't going to get refunded? That's not cool. That's not cool. Today it's only 71 here. It's only 71 degrees Fahrenheit here today, and it's been like that for like about a week. It's been nice and cool, um, cloudy every day, storms rolling in and out. I think today's the last day though, and then it's supposed to go into the 80s. But even then, that's not even that bad for us. But it's been so nice here and I'm so like happy because it's just been comfortable and I'm and it's June. But I'm afraid like that means like it's in like October, it's gonna be hot. People who have it can play, but you can can't buy Is that it for the Friday the thirteenth? That's what I thought. Like you could still play, but you can't buy it. Oh no, all servers are shutting down. 90 degrees is 32, or it's about 90 degrees Fahrenheit is 32. That's, yeah, that's getting warm. I don't mind, like, low 80s, but once it starts getting into, like, the high 80s, 90s, I'm like, no, thank you. I'm good. <laughs> but like I said, today here, it's only, like, 70. I think it was, I think yesterday it only hit, like, mid-60s. And we had some thunderstorms roll through, which was amazing. I freaking love sitting around listening to thunderstorms. 
and there's not even as much as a gust of wind or a breeze. Ugh. That's just like dead air then. I hate that. And that happens here a lot. It, like it's hot and there's not there's like it, the air is just dead. And it sucks. It sucks. So I know how that feels. So they're losing the license. SK, hi. How are you? Uh, I heard I heard the Friday the 13th was shutting down, but I couldn't I didn't understand what they were talking about. If you know what I mean, like, was it shutting down? Was the game just not going to be available? Was the servers leaving? Like, the, the, the post I saw was confusing. Or I don't know if it was confusing or I just wasn't reading it correctly. Because, yeah, I, I heard, like, you couldn't buy the game because I was like, oh, maybe I should buy it. Then I'll have it. But then, was, like, some people said, like, the servers were shutting down. Or it kind of said the servers were shutting down. So I was like, well, then why should I buy it if... The servers are gone or whatever. I, you know, I just got confused and I was just like, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I don't care anymore because we got the Texas Chainsaw game coming out that I'm super excited for and DVD still. I hope every food you ate today was just how you like it. I haven't eaten much food today, but the little tiny bit that I eat was amazing. I got up at like noon today, so I haven't eaten much yet. I'll have to take a break midstream and go like launch on something. I should play Del De 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 Loblo. De Loblo. Diablo with you guys. How are you guys enjoying it? I've been lurking in your channel while you've been playing it. I, ha I don't know anything about Diablo. If, it if I'm being completely honest, I don't know much about it. It's uh, playable until at least the end of 2024, but it won't be, be, won't be able to be purchased either digitally nor physically from December of 2023. Okay. So you can buy it up until the end of this year. Servers will be online until at least 2024, unless... And didn't they say unless something changes? Because, like, it came out, like, the exact same time that VHS announced that they were closing down completely. Like, VHS was just like, nope, it's all over. Done, gone, everything, bye bye I know that. And then, like, then I heard Friday the 13th news, and I'm like, okay, so they're gonna be around but you can't you can't purchase it excuse me i gotta hiccup or all that so it's just like so much came out it was so confusing i also hope you're hydrating always always hydrating i have my water my um almost empty coffee cup i'm always well, well i shouldn't say i'm always well hydrated i'm usually well hydrated you like my dancing Am I dancing uh, Wednesday Adams mode? It's one of my favorites. You're obsessed? Hi, SK's mom. How are you? Um, thank you so much. Thank you for petting Sally as well. I hope you've been well. I miss you guys. I miss you guys so much. I'm excited to be back. And we're going to play Disney here in just one second. I know this is how I usually start streams. <laughs> usually I'm a little faster at getting to my game. But today I thought we'll talk for a little bit because I've been gone for two weeks at least. And I even think like the last stream I was here, I didn't even really talk that much. Like we didn't have a chatting segment because it was late at night and I just wanted to get to my game because I didn't know how long I was going to stream. And today will be that way. I'll stream till about six ish. Cause I do still have to make dinner. I'm still the cook in the house. Now I just have to make dinner for my two boys, which is my dad and my brother. And make sure they're fed and, and all that. But I do have to be off about six like normal, unless I don't cook dinner, which is very rare. I'm always cooking dinner for them. Not that they can't. I just do it. Doing okay, thank you. I'm glad you're doing okay and you're welcome. You're welcome. All right. Oh, so that is. Aw, oh, thank you, Lunatic, for the head pat. What's for dinner? I think, if I remember correctly, <laughs> it's like sausage and potatoes. 
And then it's got like some stuff in it that makes it more of like um, a complete dinner. It's not like just a, a piece of sausage and potatoes. It's like ground up sausage, cut up potatoes, and then it's got some stuff in it that makes it like a breakfast dinner, breakfast e like dinner. So I'm gonna make that for my two, my two boys of the household. I'll probably eat some of it. I'm not a big sausage fan. Ground up sausage, I don't not like it. But when it's like the main meat of the dinner. I'm not a fan of it. If it's in stuff, I don't mind. Like in a meatloaf, it's good. But when it's like the main focus, I'm not a fan of it. But my, my, my brother and my dad love it. So I thought I'd make it for them tonight. I got dinner cooking now. Oh, having pulled pork and taters. Oh my God, that sounds good. Speaking of, I haven't posted, pushed this in a long time. The food bot. Does it even work? Yeah, it works. Maddie, you need to move. I can't see what food I got. An order of French toast with a bowl of guacamole. Yeah, no, don't hate on it till you try it. I don't think I would like French toast and guacamole together, but who knows? That'd be good. I kind of miss my food bot. <laughs> I, mean, I was thinking about my food bot the other day. I don't know why. I think I was just, like hungry. And I was like, God, I don't know what to eat. And then Maddie, Jesus. And then I was like, ah, oh, I wish I had my food bot. <laughs> Not bad. No, it's not bad. I don't know if it would go well together, but it, you know, I guess I don't hate on it until you try it. Ooh, a bean casserole. Yum. <gasps> blood sausage. Yes, blood sausage with potatoes and applesauce tomorrow. Mine's not quite like that, but it's bad basically what I'm having. Food fight. Breakfast burrito. Ooh, can of tuna. Can of tuna was thrown. Ah, damn. Stupid bot was on cooldown, so we have nothing for the snack table. Exactly! It may be one of those weird combinations that just be wonderfully tasty. Not wrong. Not wrong. There is sometimes, like, you wouldn't think it would work well together, and then you eat it or put it together or whatever, and it's like, huh. Not bad. Not bad. I'd eat it again. Tuna burrito. Yeah, no. <laughs> That does not sound like a good mix. It didn't. No. Oh, no. Our snack table. No. Well, it's okay. Here, 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 here. Her, this makes it better. We will eat the churros. And I know a lot of us have kitties. We'll just let the cats have the, the cat food. There we go. Just looking out for the kitties. Exactly. We'll get churros and the kitties get the food. There we go. Looking out for the kitties of the stream too. We got Sally on stream. Maddie was just here walking across my desk. She's gone now. Churros, though, sounds so good. Exactly, our cats get food too. Got gotta keep the kitties fed. <laughs> I ain't eating it for sure, so the kitties get it. Like I said, looking out for them. Maddie, there's there's cat food on the table for you. Yeah, are you gonna come back over? My desk is full at the moment, Maddie. You can't walk across it. Now you're standing in front of chat and I can't see. She has no care in the world. All right, you gonna walk back that way? All right, bye, Maddie. Clumsy thumbsy today. It's okay. Damn! Your dog gets cheesecake with ranch dressing. I mean, ew, but damn the cheesecake. <laughs> that sounds good. I could go for some cheesecake. I mean, canned cat food is basically beef stew. Heat it up, put it up, mayo on it. It shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> I mean, you got a point, but I don't think I'm going to try it. <laughs> My game keeps killing me. What are you playing, SK? An order of PB&J sandwich. Ooh, fried insects. No, the bot's not being very good today. Wow. Usually the bot's kind of nice. Kind of. But the bot today ain't having it. I guess maybe the first time being back in over two weeks, the bot's like, here, I got all this crap to give you guys that's been storing up for the last two weeks. At least you got a PB&J sandwich. 
Oh, you're playing Diablo Immortal. Oh, gotcha. Hmm. Now caviar with a fortune cookie. Damn, bot. Yeah, the bot ain't having it today. The bot was like, no. Shows violence today, I guess. Let me see what I got. Let me see if I can get something good. No! Well, I mean, that's not bad, but I don't like pineapple pizza. <laughs> but at least it's a good combination. They have lots of protein. I mean, you're not wrong. They do have a lot of protein. But I don't know. I'm still, like, not into that. <laughs> Food stuck into Magic's desk drawer for her afternoon snack. Uh, no! <laughs> the bot really wants Magic to have caviar. Really wants Magic to have caviar. At well, least got a blueberry muffin. Maddie. What you doing, huh? No, please don't knock over my water. I'll try any food, but insects never. I don't know. Like, I don't think I would ever want to. Like, I wouldn't honestly like voluntarily try it but i don't know if there was like some circumstance i might give it a try cricket like yeah you tried crickets before they're crunchy <laughs> like if someone paid me a lot of money i'd be like sure i'll try like a cricket certain ones i'd be like no thank you i don't know like a spider you know i've seen people eat spider legs or something like that I'm, mm, yeah. Yeah, no to the insects. I've seen people eating scorpion lollipops. I've seen that too. I was watching something the other day on YouTube and this person went to like a convenience store or not a convenience store, but some kind of store. And like they had a bunch of lollipops with like bugs in them. And I was like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know anything I could do that. You ever think about playing Pokemon? I have thought about it, yes. I have thought about it, yes. Never committed to it, but it's crossed my mind before. And deep fried tarantulas? Ugh. I think I've seen that too, but <laughs> I I don't like spot. Like, I'm not a afraid of spiders don't get me wrong i am not afraid of spiders but video game spiders i hate and i don't want to be eating them i mean i don't want no spider crawling on me but i'm also one of those ones where i'm not afraid to go up to the spider to put it in a cup and collect it and take it outside where my brother would probably be like climbing the wall if a spider was or is anywhere near him but i don't want to eat them i don't want to i don't want them near me and y'all saw how I freaked out at the Resident Evil spider. Big old nope. Finally killed this dang monster. Let's go. I hate, I hate it. I hate when that happens. When you're fighting a boss. And it kills you a hundred million times. You finally get it. Oh, it's the best. It's the best. I'm mega afraid of spiders. Yeah, my brother's the same way. My brother is mega afraid of them. Like, I'll be sitting in my room sometimes, and I'll hear this, like, smack. And the next morning, I'm like, was there a spider in your room? And he's like, oh, hell yeah, I killed that thing. Me, I'm like, no, I moved the spider. Like, get a cup, put the spider in the cup, take it outside, let him live his life. No, no. People who are afraid of that, and I, I get it. Like, I'm not, like, a, not saying you shouldn't do it, but people who are afraid of spiders, yeah, it's just a smack and good. My brother ate a nightcrawler once for $5! Nah, I wouldn't eat it. I wouldn't eat. I wouldn't do that even for five dollars. You gotta pay me good money. You gotta pay me good money to eat any kind of creepy crawly. Oh, I think I saw that too. Magic when Taurus ate the snake meat. Cause didn't it have like a bunch of bones in it? Wasn't that 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 one? Cause I did see him eat something once. I'm just forgetting what it was, and I think it was snake meat. I remember him saying it was super like bony and that was like Ugh. no you had a scorpion lollipop how was it 
How was I? I don't know. I don't. Uh, you gotta pay be good money to do something like that. I don't mind as long as they're not close to me. I mean, I don't want them close to me. I don't, I'm not deathly afraid of them, but I don't want them close to me either. But every once in a while, like, when I see one in my room, like, crawling around, if I can't get to it, I just let it go. <laughs> I just let it go. And my brother will get it. <laughs> he only killed me three times before I finally killed him. That's not bad. That's not bad. I hate it when it's, like, 100 million times and you just can't beat the freaking boss and you finally get it. Three times isn't too bad. Three times is still too many to me, though. I start getting frustrated by about the second time I start losing. It was gross. It was. Uh, Sage don't have a... I didn't think so either, but he kept saying, like, there's bones in it or something. And, like, the snake meat he was eating. Because I was confused, too. And I don't know if it was bones or, like, just hard pieces of meat. But, like, he was eating this thing of canned snake meat and I swear I remember him saying like there's so many bones in here and I was like the same way I'm like wait snakes don't have bones so I don't know what that was that was true that was a lot of money back then not wrong not wrong yeah five bucks these days barely buys you a tank of gas but still even like these I mean you have to pay me like millions of dollars <laughs> I'm not talking hundreds. I'm talking like millions. <laughs> Maybe a couple hundred thousand to eat any kind of bug. Like, I, I like, I don't like seafood. And it was a lot for my friends to get me to eat something seafood like. And that's something everybody eats. But I don't like it. So it, they didn't pay me or anything, but it took them a lot to get me to do it. I was playing on Sorcerer earlier. I ended up dying like. I ended up dying nearly 20 times trying to figure out how to kill my priority quest boss. No, that sucks. It gets so frustrating. Squish, squish, pancake. I think he many, many times. No. Like I said, I usually buy about like the second time I get beat by a boss or even just a, a really strong enemy, not even a boss enemy. I'm getting frustrated. I'm getting super frustrated. 20 times though, or nearly 20 times. Damn. I would have like rage quit for a while. Wait, snakes do have bones? Like where? They, their, their head probably has bones, right? I would assume they have a skull. Damn, they do have bones. I did not know that. I just thought they didn't, but I just Googled it and they do apparently have bones. The more you know. I did not know that. I kind of figured, like I said, like their head might have, but I didn't, you know, thinking he was eating canned snake meat that they would put the skull inside the tin can. I still wouldn't eat it. They have a long spine and the rest is ribs. Interesting. I hate snakes. I don't know. I don't know much about them. Snakes, I hate snakes more than I hate spiders. Exactly. Well, yeah, you got a point. You got to live that Hakuna Matata type of life. You ain't wrong. You definitely ain't wrong. Like I said, the more you know. Sp spines. Excuse me. And snakes have bones. So apparently then when he was eating that, there was, that, those were really bones. Because I was confused. I was thinking it was probably like maybe just hard meat. Like, not overcooked because I can't even remember like what it was. But just like, yeah, it's what I kind of assumed. Then I was like, why do they even have bones in this thing he was eating? Which was just like canned snake meat. Like, why didn't they take those out? I don't know. The more you know. <laughs> All right, you guys ready to get to some Disney for the day? So, like I said, as I was saying, um, we'll play Disney. Check out all the new updates. I still haven't even finished uh, anything that comes to the b -b 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 Lion King chapter or whatever. So, we'll play with that as well. Or, I mean, continue with that. And then I still have a lot of things I haven't done. I have not played this offline at all since I last played, which I don't know when that was. Um, but... 
will continue where we left off. And if I get bored or I don't want to do chill anymore, I might switch over to DVD. Uh, we'll see if we can play this for most of the day. So let's hop over here. Let's play Lats. It was nice chatting with you guys, though. You guys know I love freaking sitting here and chatting with y'all. We even had a chatting stream once on accident because it was just something that I love to do. And it's nice since I've been gone for two-ish. Well, I've been gone for two weeks, but I've been gone even longer Um, because I've only been here and there. But it's always nice to sh sit, chat, and catch up. Ribs, yummy. <laughs> I mean, ribs are yummy, but I, ain't, I don't want no snake ribs. Ew, snake ribs. That is, I don't know. That doesn't even sound appetizing. Would you like some ribs for dinner? It's okay. These are these, these are snake ribs. We're, they're good. We used to have snakes in school for reptile class. I studied animal care. Translated literally. Ah, no. I don't want no snakes in my class. <laughs> or my school or whatever. No, I... Okay, snakes... Like, I'm not a... Mm, I was gonna say I'm not afraid of snakes. So we had lots of reptiles, amphibians, rodents, and like that. Ooh, rodents, yeah. Blech. Actually, I don't mind rodents. If they're like pets. Like they don't bother me as much, but you know, like when you're outside and this rat runs by you. <laughs> but I'm not, yeah, I'm not like deathly afraid of snakes, but they scare me a lot more than a lot of things. Oof. A bunny is considered a rodent? Really? I didn't know that. Their bunnies are so cute. I love bunnies. Uh, they're all tame animals. Tame animals, of course, good. Not no. Ooh. Finally! Finally! We get to see. Uh, oh, this is what I'm wearing? Cool. <laughs> I haven't opened this game in months. <laughs> but, um, oh, frick, what was I saying? It's true. I did not know that that's what, that's what they were considered. I don't know what I thought they were, but I did not realize that they were actually considered a rodent. Huh. See, now I, okay, so we, we learned two things today. Snakes really do have bones. Well, okay, I learned something. Y'all knew this, apparently. And bunnies are rodents. Any animal that has teeth that keep growing and need to gnaw on stuff constantly where their teeth... Oh, to wear down their teeth are rodents. Makes sense. Yeah, like I said, I don't know what I thought bunnies were considered, but... That makes complete sense. I just thought the bunnies are just bunnies, you know what I mean? <laughs> They're their own special category. They're cute little bunnies. But I never thought of it that way. Yeah, that's what they do. And that's what rodents do. So they're in the rodent category. Ooh, cute. How do I get out of here? Gotcha, okay. All right. So this is me. For all those of you, oh, hi, Moana, out of my way. I'm showing off my outfit. This is me. Um, I don't remember me wearing this, but this is what I look like. Apparently is what I put in my, on oh, last time I was playing. Like I said, I haven't played this in like ages. I don't know the last time I opened this up and I haven't opened it. Oh my God, I'm getting all the achievement because I put achievements on. Um, I haven't opened this since the update either because I was trying to wait to stream it. So I don't really remember actually what is in this update. Oh, we got to open the new path. Um, unlock premium. The new star path. Let's go. What do we got in the thing? Oh. Fiery Raven. Oh my God. He's pretty. This is like the Rift version of Disney. I love it. Bunnies are, exactly, bunnies are fluff balls. Bunnies are bunnies. I, I never thought about like what 
uh, what they like not category but whatever you want to call that they were in to me they were just bunnies and obviously like you when you think rodent you think like rat mouse those are the first two that come to my brain but bunnies i never really put in any category other than yeah that's those they're cute little bunnies our Swift the other day made a Bubba DC. What did you guys do? How dare no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> How dare you make a Bubba DC? Nah, what'd you guys do? Probably Probably he deserved it. Nah, I don't know. It was flipping glorious. Were you with him? Were you part of the Swift? I must know the details. Oh my god, look at this fireplace. I want. I want kind of want okay there's some nice stuff in here now see this is the time where now from here on out i'll try and grind out disney so that i can uh get all these items stealthy space is that a buzz alternate look oh <gasps> i must have run pet blah, 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 blah. I must have red panda one red panda onesies. Holy hell, I couldn't say that. I must have that. All right, we got to do this. Why was th Oh, it's Eric. He's okay, Eric. You need to you need to calm down. Rats, mice, capybaras, hamsters, hamsters and gerbils too. Yeah. See, those I knew were rodents. But they look like mice. Or, I mean, you know what I mean. They have, like, the same, like, body and everything. I guess bunnies do, too. God, I never really thought about that. We have saved... We saved someone off of a hook. He was face camping. Oof. We were gonna get a four-man escape, and he dc before we all got out! <laughs> I ran him and they got me at the end game and it was gonna be a four man out. Door was open and everything. Ah, oh, so glorious. You're right. You're right. But why DC? Like, okay, you know, I don't, I don't think DC, okay, I, I don't like DCs, but at the same time, I don't think they're as bad anymore. You do you, whatever, you know, DC if you want. But when it's something like that, when literally you guys are just about to escape, you know, I get you know, take us, take the penalty and lose your BP um, and all that. But if you guys are about to escape, just wait like five more seconds or whatever until these people escape. If you're, excuse me, if you're the killer and it's all going to be okay. <laughs> but I love it. I freaking love epic end games like that. I love it. Because I was playing, or I have been playing with Ryan the past couple times. Not all week, but a couple, I played last night. But anyway. Um, and I know we had an epic ending on one. And I, I couldn't even tell you now what happened. Because we played so much. But I freaking love epic endings like that. Especially when the killer is face camping. And I don't mind if the killer face camps at the end when there's nothing else to do i mean yeah they could go off and do something else but you know sure end game nothing else to do get your kill it's cool and it gives us a challenge in my opinion to try and save that person from a face camper and i freaking love it as a survivor when a killer is face camping and you get them off the hook and everybody gets out Keeping my mouth shut due to too many spoilers. I appreciate it, but if I need help, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you, SK's mom. <laughs> yeah, because I haven't seen anything from this. I, I've been just, it was too busy and hadn't really been in the mood to keep up with gaming. So most of this is all new. Like, it's a surprise even because I didn't even read a lot of things. He spent way too long on me. Good. And you know what I mean? Die bad. A moment, if you... Good day, I want this jacket. Because in the end... Everything got done. Doors could be opened. 
and y'all could escape. You could make that epic save. Thank you kindly. Okay, just ask. We'll do for sure. Um, I, mm, I think I might have those. I could look, but I'm not going to right now. First things first, I always like to look at the store, see if there's anything good. Oh, <gasps> Cupid wants! Good day, dear. How much money do I have? 200,000? Like I said, I barely played this even off stream, so I wasn't even sure how much money I had. Okay, um, let's see. Where, what, where, what do we have? Quests. Ah, the fairy godmother! Which I knew she was in it because of just the opening, but I'm so happy that she is actually here and she was the pumpkin house. So we gotta go, we'll do that first. Um, I've unlocked all these. I think I have to go, yeah, I gotta go do Mirror. I haven't even finished Mirabelle's. And most of these are things I've left from the last time I streamed that I've just never done. But first things first, let's go see the fairy godmother. Oops, <laughs> I missed the door. And as you guys can see, I've still not done much up uh, like decorating. I was waiting till I completely finish and I never completely finish. Um, let's just walk. Hi Simba, whoops. And Scar. I'm so excited. The pumpkin house. Oh wait, just a minute. I know I don't need to do this, but I want to. So what's that strange noise? Investigate the mysterious pumpkin house in the forgotten lands. It's not mysterious. It's very well known. Finally, I'm so excited. Look at it! Oh my god, I love it! Y'all know I love pumpkins in general. And Cinderella is how do you say it? It's not my all-time favorite because my all-time favorite would either, well, it's obviously the night before Christmas, but I put that in its own category, um, is Alice in Wonderland. But I don't consider Alice like a Disney princess. I don't know why. I know she is because she's Disney and everything, but you know, she doesn't have like the Prince Charming thing and ever, all that. So I kind of put her in her own category. Cinderella would be my next favorite of the old classic Disney cartoons. So I'm so excited to see the fairy godmother. Ma'am, come here. Ma'am, come here. Ma'am, stop. Stop. Why? Stop moving. Ma'am. There we go. Mm -hmm. She was like, bitch, I don't want to talk to you. Jesus. Scrumpy. Hello. How are you? Don't mind me. Just chasing around the fairy godmother. Every time I pushed E, it just went away because she was moving too fast. Uh, oh my, is it really? It couldn't be. Oh, let me have a look at you. I can't do voices. <laughs> I apologize. Scarlet? Oh, it is you, isn't it? You must be the fairy godmother. I'm here to help. What happened here? I don't know how to be, I don't know how to be anyone else. That is actually a perfect saying. Um, but I'm just gonna say, you must be the fairy godmother. Why, yes, of course. Now, uh, Lark, I'm gonna go feed baby Luna her last bottle and then put her to bed for the night. I'll be back after, I'll be back after for a bit. No worries, gamer. Thank you so much for the alert. Yes, go take care of the baby. Put her to sleep. Give her lots of love from all of us. And no worries, we'll be here. Sleeping Beauty? I like Sleeping Beauty a lot, but I don't know. Cinderella, I always, Loved the most of the classic ones. It, it's kind of one of those ones besides Alice in Wonderland will always be number one. But of like the, the Disney princesses stories like Cinderella will always be number one to me. And I don't know why. I just always liked it. Like I don't have a specific reason. Uh, Now where is that wand? I, oh, I was sure I, I... Oh dear, I'm holding it, aren't I? She was amazing too, the fairy godmother. Hmm. 
Well then, I suppose that's one problem solved, isn't it? And now that you're here, perhaps together we can solve another. Oh, but let me get one more look at you. It's been far too long, my dear. Don't I look amazing? Mm -hmm. It's really, it really is you, isn't it? And not that, that shadow of you. Oh yeah, a uh, shadow of me? Are you talking about the forgotten? Mm -hmm. Yes, but now I'm certain that it is you. What a relief. You see, I've been trying to solve a magical con conundrum the forgotten left behind. Long ago, the Forgotten stole the Orb of Remembrance and hid it, along with some lost memories in the dreamscape. Uh, I think this means we can read both of these. Mm. What is the dreamscape? Oh, you may not know its name, but you've been there before. Nearly every time you've closed your eyes. Mm. The dreamscape is the place between dreams and the waking world. The rules there, well, they're a bit out of order. Oh. And it's a fine place for hiding things, such as an orb, or perhaps memories you'd rather forget. Okay. What sort of memories did the forgotten hide? Mm -hmm. I'm afraid I haven't got the faint, or I'm, I'm afraid I haven't the faintest idea. That's one of the reasons I was so happy to see you. Oh. It seems to me the forgotten world, or would, want to forget the same sorts of things you might. As for me... Well, I'm afraid I don't need a dreamscape or magic spells to forget anything. <laughs> I seem to do that all on my own. I was just getting ready to say, can relate. Y'all, y'all know me if you hung around me long enough. In about five minutes, I'm going to forget this entire conversation and have no idea what I'm doing anymore. Oh. Uh, that's why I always tie my cape on, you know. Otherwise, I'd never remember where I put it. So how do we get the orb back? Well, that's what I've been trying to do here all along. But every spell I've tried simply hasn't worked. You mean you've been in the pumpkin house the whole time? Trying to figure this out on your own? You mean you've been hiding in here? Oh. Yes, but I'm afraid I've only managed to bumble it. She's been in here a long time. Uh, the Forgotten has hidden the door to the dreamscape behind a powerful illusion. And no matter what I do, I can't seem to lift it. Oh, but now you're here. Your magic... It's, it even knows, um, your magic. It's just like the Forgotten's. Perhaps if we're combined our, perhaps if we combined our magic together, I'm on it. One illusion dispelling enchantment coming right up. Magic and me don't get along. Try asking Merlin. Magic and me get along perfectly fine. Hmm. I'm on it. There's nothing in the world I admire more than someone who delights in their duties and doesn't see them as a chore. Now, before the night thorns parted me from the rest of the village, I managed to grab a handful of spell books. One enchantment seems to hold the most promise. Mm -hmm. Would you be a deer and gather some purified night shards for it? I'll take care of the rest. <laughs> Just meet me back here once you've found it. After all, what's lost must be found again. And on you, I know we can depend. Aww. Now off you go. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. They should bring Matt. They should bring Mad Madam Mim. Who's that? Or what's that? Why did I not know that? Man, I have to actually go get this stuff. Okay, very godmother, be right back. That's another reason sometimes why I switch games after when we play this. There's a lot of reading. Oh, I'm stuck. And sometimes reading makes me tired. I'm still stuck. No, I'm okay. No, yeah, no, yeah, no, I'm fine. Oh, we don't get along that is what it said. And I was like, no, me and magic get along perfectly fine. I love magic. I need to go grab. I know I have enough night shards. I get lots of Oh, it's a it was she was saying how magic and me don't get along, meaning the actual like magic. And in this game, since I know of magic. <laughs> I like to tease her a lot, so. Now nah, me and Magic, my mod, get her along perfectly fine. She's one of my bestest of friends. Oh, wrong button. It said five, right? See, my memory, I don't remember already. Oh, it's purified night shards. Holy hell, just a minute. Not just night shards, it's purified night shards.
It's another thing. I don't read in games. I think this is... I don't even think I needed to bring them. I think... I think when you use the table, it's all fine. Oh, look at all this new stuff. Okay. Mannequins. Don't take on too much. We're here for you. That's creepy. Oh, look at all the customizable stuff. I like, I like, okay. Good thing I found a lot of night shards off stream. Oh, I need this to go away. I don't like notifications. No, it won't go away. I'm stuck with it forever. Oh well. I do, I do. I like to I like to say that I am magic sometimes. Every once in a while, I like to pretend, you know, when I don't want to be Scarlet anymore, I'm just like, I'm gonna be magic for today. Because I love magic dearly. And I look up to her. I hope Fairy Godmother's still in here. Oh, look at you, dear. You found everything I asked for. Let's see. Yes, this should do nicely. Now come along and don't be slow. To the dreamscape, we must go. Wait, the dreamscape is dangerous. Dreamscape is dangerous. Finally, I can't wait to get some answers. Nah, let's just go. I'm ready. Follow me and leave your fears behind. For the dreamscape reflects what you hold in your mind. I love the rhymes. Mm -hmm. I'm here for this. Uh, now then, meet me at the mountain in the middle of the Forgotten Lands. See you soon. Well, that does it. There's a mountain in the middle of the Forgotten Lands? What? Oh, is it mean? Look at her. <laughs> oh, this. This is considered a mountain? That was just a pile of rocks. Oh, my back. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, Magic, for the shout out. Thanks for the happy birthday. It's not my birthday. If it was my birthday, I'm getting older and I just hurt my back. <laughs> but hi, Ryan. How are you? I'm sorry, my VTuber is out of focus. I don't understand. What? Uh, What's going on in that clip? Probably gonna end as well. Huh? What was that clip? Oh my god. I stretched and it hurt my back. Thank you again though, Magic, for the shout out. Ah, I is good. I'm fine. I'm fine. Alright, Mag, you fairy godmother. Here we are, the gateway between Dreamlight Valley and the Dreamscape. Uh, inside we'll find the place between walking or waking life and this realm. The realm of dreams. God, that took my breath away. It's uh, not as impressive as I expected. Am I missing something here? It's just, it's just a big rock. Am I missing something? I'm afraid we all are. <laughs> I'm missing half of my brain. Uh, I'm afraid we all are. We need to look with more than just our eyes. Focus your magic. Soon, all will be unveil unveiled. The forgotten delusion must be dispelled. Dreamscape, reveal yourself. Well, that does it. Bippity, boppity, boo. Oh, there's a tree house. I have no idea, to be honest. I don't know what that was. It put, pops up in a lot of places. By the way, are you awake now? I mean, obviously you're talking, but did you just wake up is what I should have said. And good morning if you did. You need to clean out your clips then. Apparently you got some interesting clips on there. Enter the dreamscape through the tree house of the forgotten lands.
Wow, this place is nice. <laughs> Did not expect that I was gonna go through a treehouse, and this is what I see. Ma'am. Hi, diddly ho, Marino. <laughs> Hi, pumpkin. How are you? I love that. It's so cute. <laughs> Ah, oh, here we are. Peculiar. Peculiar. Ugh. Isn't it? Uh, sorry. As uh, It's as though we've traveled a long way and as if we've done nothing more than close our eyes. This place is amazing. I think that's what I said. What do I do now? Who built all this? This place is amazing. It certainly is. The dreamscape built this out of pure imagination to help the forgotten protect something very important. The orb of remembrance is on that pedestal in the center of the room. The one next to me? Oh, but I'm afraid its power has gone dim. Or grown dim, I think I said. If we're to restore it, we must find the memories the Forgotten has scattered. So how do we do that? Well, each memory holds some whisper of the virtues that have been forgotten. Mm -hmm. And many are already here to be found. Just gather the memories you see all around. Well, that does it. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Collect the forgotten memories from the pedestals. The memory of power, courage, and love. Wait. From the pedestals? Oh, okay. That's what I thought. Okay. Is this all gonna be the same image? E. So it's the forgo it's the castle. How do I um I just fell. It'll stay there forever. Yeah, <laughs> knowing you, it will be. I'm still sleepy as heck, to be honest. So if I disappear, then oops. I think I told you last night that if you need sleep, get sleep. You don't have to be here, even though I love it when you're here. But sleep is more important. Did you not sleep well? I picked up all the memories, but there are some pieces still missing. Hmm, yes. These memories. Why, they're just pieces of something larger than the Forgotten meant to hide. I'm afraid the Forgotten has hidden something here much deeper. If we're to uncover it, well, it won't be as simple as finding the memories. I'm afraid you'll have to live... I'm afraid you'll have to live the Forgotten's lost memories yourself. I need to become the Forgotten? Sounds fascinating, saying me up. Can we get... To get <coughs> can we get someone else to live them out? Maybe Goofy? Yeah, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Can somebody else do it? I don't know why Goofy. Um... Nah, sounds fascinating. Sign me up. Oh, that makes me very happy, dear. After all, nothing in this world is such a treasure to find as an eager helper with a curious mind. So how do I do this? How do I live out the Forgotten's memories? The dreamscape always finds a way. Follow me and don't delay. Ooh, oh, I'm stuck. Oh, talk to her again, sorry. All right, Scarlet, it's time to pass through the first gate. There you'll find yourself, yourself inside one of the Forgotten's oldest memories. For as long as you're in that place, you'll be the Forgotten. You'll see and hear what they saw and heard. But more than that, you'll feel what the Forgotten left or felt. Sounds dangerous. Finally, I'll be able to understand. Can I change what happened? Fix the Forgotten's mistakes? <sighs> Fair question. I'm afraid not. These are just fragments of the past that the Forgotten remembers them. It cannot be changed, only misunderstood. Mm -hmm. Whatever you find on the other side, it must have been important to the forget it, uh, forgotten 
It might even be what set them on the path to becoming what they are. When you're ready, step through the gate and see what sealed the Forgotten's face. I'll see you soon, dear. Just a warning, this quest has screwed up. This quest has screwed with people's minds. It's hard for some people to do. Mentally challenging, not knowledgeable, but mental health. Really? Oh my God. That's actually really scary. Like, I don't have like the greatest mental health, so hopefully I'll be okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I know it's a dumb question, but I have to ask. My back is pretty stiff, so I couldn't find a good, comfortable spot to lay down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I have to ask, though, if you slept well, even if I know the answer already. But I'm sorry. I hope your back starts feeling better soon, which I know not really, but I can still hope. I've never played this game before. This game is so much fun. I played it quite a bit on stream. I kind of got out of it for a while, like I was bored with it. But I put it down for a while, a long time, I guess. And I'm really excited for this. Except for now, I'm scared. Like, I don't have like the best of mental health, so. Uh, just do not let it get to you. You do have friends who love you and are here for you. Do not let this game quest convince you otherwise. I, okay. I appreciate that. I appreciate the warning. I really do. Because that is something I do struggle with extremely bad. Like, I, it's one of those things, like, I know I have friends. I know all that. But it's sometimes I can sit here. Yeah, not on stream. Like, maybe streaming this will be good. Because I have you guys right here and I don't have to like be sitting here alone thinking it. But I struggle with that immensely. Thinking like I don't have friends. I, I know I do, but my brain will be like, nah, nah, you're not, uh, you're annoying and all that. I don't love you. <laughs> I extra love you, magic. <laughs> You're toying with my emotions, but I love you. <laughs> I extra love you too, Magic. I extra love you too. Imagine being bored with Disneyland. I know, right? But for some reason, I just got bored with this game all of a sudden. That's why, like, I think I streamed it once. Oh, it's been a while now, but the last one of the last times we streamed it, I only got through like an hour or two, and then I basically went and played DVD because I just I couldn't play chill anymore. I'm gonna put you on my phone so I can still be here for you while I finish up dinner. No worries, SK. No worries. I appreciate you so much, SK. You're amazing, and thank you for warning me about it because I didn't know that. I didn't know that this had something that was gonna do that. And I struggle a lot with mental health and especially something like that. Just do not let it get to you. You do have friends who love you and who are here for you. I will keep that in mind. And like I said, streaming, it's going to help me probably. Because you all will be right here and it'll help remind me. Because I do have that problem. Sometimes off stream, I will just be like, I'll sit around, want to just be in my own bubble all by myself because I don't feel... Like, I matter. And now, having just gone through something extremely rough... I, like... I, I feel like... Because I've been gone so long, I felt like people were gonna forget about me. And everything. But after I told you guys what had happened, and I got so many messages... And you guys were right there for me. It made me just feel so much better. Because while I was gone, I was feeling like even before everything happened and I was having trouble just being online in general, I just kind of had that feeling like everyone's going to forget about me. No one's going to care about me anymore because I'm just going to be gone for too long and everyone's going to like move on kind of feel. And I know so many of us have that problem. So... I extra love all of you. You're all so amazing. All right. So step through the first gate in the dreamscape to uncover the forgotten's lost memory. All right, let's do this. We got this. Oh, 
<gasps> oh my god, look at me! Can I look like this all the time? I'm badass. We could never forget you, never we love you too. I appreciate you guys so much. <laughs> I really do, I appreciate you guys. Cause I love you guys too, and you guys have helped me through so much. You really have. If it wasn't for you guys, I would not... One, I would not be where I'm at today. Nor would I have the headspace that I have today. In the good part. I mean, I have my bad days, but that's when I'm not online. And I'm getting to myself. But I love you guys so much too, and I appreciate you, and thank you for everything. My wings move! Okay, anyways. Uh, uncover the Forgotten's first lost memory in the Dreamscape. See what Mickey wants this time. God, I want to look like this all the time. Jesus. Hi, pal. Uh, you are just who I was looking for. You were looking for me? But why? Who cares about boring old me? Hmm? Gosh, I- oh wait, that was me saying that, sorry. Uh, gosh, I care about you a ton. And, uh, well, you haven't seemed like yourself lately. Is there anything you want to talk about? Everything is awful. Nobody understands me. I'm angry all the time. <sighs> well, I try and pick these answers like how I would really answer. I'm not angry all the time. I'm not really an angry person. I don't think everything is awful. And I don't think nobody understands me. Um, let's just say everything is awful, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't think that, though. Everything's not awful. Uh, we are the hardest on ourselves. It's okay to tell others when you feel like that for some reassurance. And that's so true. And I'm super hard on myself. Like, I'm very hard on myself. And... I have reached out to friends in the past and even more the past, like, probably few months because I've had a rough few months to, like, be like, hey, I'm struggling at the moment. Can, can I have some, like, no, I don't say can I have some help, but, you know, just, like, to just have somebody there for me or right there with me, I guess. And even just the friends that I've had even just reach out to me when I'm not reaching out. When they can just tell that I'm not having a good day or whatever it has meant the world to me. And it's made me feel so much better. And I am super hard on myself all the time. I have always been. And I've been through stuff, not just this past couple of months, but just through life. And uh, it makes me sometimes feel like I'm not worth it and stuff because of the way I've been treated in the past by people I used to call friends. So... Yeah, I have trouble reaching out to people, but I have some uh, freaking amazing friends who reach out to me because they can just tell when I'm not doing well or want to make sure I'm doing okay or whatever. And I appreciate that more than anything because after that happens, my day gets so much better. <gasps> I am now SK's. I love you, SK. <laughs> I started therapy seven months ago and it helped me so much. I've thought about it. Like, I've seriously thought about it. Going to some kind of therapy that could help because I've been through so much shit. I just never have. And I think maybe one day I might, but at the moment, I think I'm okay. Like, I have the friends and the support system I can put myself in on. However you want to say that. That has helped me immensely. Like, because I was off streaming for two weeks, I, I was okay in that time frame, like, with what had happened and everything. So I just kind of needed the time anyway. But streaming and being here is, like, my happy place. So if I'm here or even just hanging out with friends or playing games with friends, it's my happy place. And that's when I truly am at my best. Or I feel my best and everything. Like, I will have days where, like, even on stream, I'm, like, down. And, I, and I've done that. You guys have heard me say, like, when I start stream, 
Like, I'm not having a good day. Like, I don't know what, you know, I'm just, I don't know what. I'm just not doing well. And then I start streaming, and then by the end of stream, I'm good. Like, it's all good. You guys were just hanging out and all that. And... Sorry, something happened on my phone. Uh, and hanging out and all that has just made me 100% better. Isn't Disneyland supposed to be happy? Mm, well, it's supposed to be. But this right now, is in this game, apparently something's by it happening. My shoulder's always, always available. I appreciate that, SK. I love you so much. I'm new here, but I'm here for anyone who needs someone to listen. And I mean anyone. We appreciate that. And same. And same. I'm always here. Like, I was telling a friend this the other day. I think it was Blight. I was talking to him. And I was just like, hey, even though I'm going through some stuff. Never, ever, ever feel like you can't reach out to me even if I am having like a bad day because I am one of those type of people who I will always be there for you if I care about you like I'm not gonna turn my back on you just because I'm having a bad day no I put all my crap down to help you because I'm always gonna be here for you and I want you all to always remember that too like my dms are always open if you're having a problem if you want to just talk if you want to just vent if you just want to say hi my DMs are always open. Now, sometimes it might take me a minute to get back to them because I'm just not at my phone or my computer, but I am always around. And like I said, I'm always a message away and it's not like I live too far, no. Me and Magic could be just like, yo, let's just drop everything and we'll meet in between. Because <laughs> we only live a few hours away from each other. And I appreciate that magic. I really do. And the messages you've sent me the last few weeks, just through everything, have meant the world to me. Same goes for me. No matter how crappy I'm, my, no matter how crappy I'm feeling myself. Exactly. Like I said, no matter how bad I am, if you need help, I, you know, we could help each other. That's how I always feel too. If I'm having a bad day, you're having a bad day. I message you, you message me, however, you know, whichever way it goes. We'll be there for each other. My, my, my DMs are always open. My Discord's always there. And if you don't want to DM me, you can always post it in the Discord. Our Discord is very open and has a lot of people who are always there to help. Right? Yeah. Grief, it's just love with no place to go. If you all, all want to eventually party, oh, you live in Vegas. Let's go. I mean, I could make the drive to Vegas it's a little ways because I live up in Northern California, but hey, I could make that drive. I'll pick up magic on the way and we'll drive down together. <laughs> I've been to Vegas once. I've never been there. It's just a little far for me. That's why I've never been there. The only place I've gone when it comes to like anything close to Vegas is Reno. I've been to Reno once. That's the best I've got when it comes to places like that. I forgot what we were talking to Mickey about. Uh, I just... <laughs> no, nothing is wrong. Everything is fine. Why can't I ever say how I feel? Right? I have the worst. Like, I can tell y'all I'm feeling bad, but I can't ever say how I feel. It's like the worst. I'm the worst at conveying how I feel. Uh, you, you sure everything's okay, pal? <laughs> oh my god. Everything is bad. I'm gonna click is. <laughs> I'm just gonna collect, a uh, collect. I'm just gonna click is. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. You used to live in Reno. I liked Reno. I visited there once. It's not that far from where I live, but I have, I've never had a reason to go. So except for this one time with my friends, we went. I hated driving to Vegas. Ten hour drive. Yeah, it's, it's a while. 
Because I even live up farther than you. And it's a wild drive, but... And I had... Oh! And I had bronchitis and then driving on the strip was a nightmare. I would never drive on the strip. Oh, excuse me, hiccup. I would just, uh... I'd have someone drive me. <laughs> I hate... I hate driving in general. But... Anything with, like, lots of traffic, I get super nervous. Like, I have anxiety as it is. So, yeah. Anything like that, I get super nervous. Like, I hate driving on the freeway because it makes me nervous. Uh, it's fine. I'm okay. I'm great. I'm amazing. What's the point? Nobody would get it anyway. Well, all right. But, you know, if you ever need to talk, I'm always around. What did you want to talk to me about anyways? Oh, right. I almost forgot. I noticed there are all sorts of flowers growing around the valley. And I wanted to make a big bouquet for Minnie to show her just how special she is. I thought maybe you could help me because, well, you're the best in the whole valley at picking out nice flowers. Sure, fine. I'll pick some flowers. I'll pick you some flowers. Whatever, Mickey. No! No! <laughs> God, this is so relatable. Uh, this is so relatable and I I don't hate it, but oh my god. But I had fun. Meds and alcohol. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, hey, at least you had fun though. At least you had fun. That's all that matters. I would drive it still perfect because I hate driving. <laughs> I hate driving so much. I would drive, but I just, I like anytime, anytime I can get someone else to do it, I, I, I push it off on them because I can't. I shouldn't say I can't. I just, I hate it. And because I have anxiety, like driving in unfamiliar places and then driving in unfamiliar places with a lot of people, like lots of traffic. I get super anxious and nervous and I don't think when someone's driving you should be super anxious and nervous because that's not a good combination. So I try not to put myself in those situations. Thanks, pal. And hey, just remember, I'm always here to talk. I, 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 I don't like how relatable this is. Pick some, oh, geez. Pick some ugly flowers to make some kind of okay. Ugh, whatever. Wow. Wow, it's so relatable though. Like, my mental health hasn't been that bad lately, considering. Um, but, where the hell are some more ugly flowers? Here they are. In the past, and I'm not talking within like the last couple weeks or anything, like years ago even. I had some bad mental health, but it was because of the way I was being treated. Craft a hideous bouquet at the crafting station near Goofy's house. What's the point making a nice bouquet anyways? Wow. Because, because. You don't need a reason. It's just because. Those are hideous. I actually really like the look of those. God, I'm so freaking amazing looking. Um, here, Mickey. Wait. Oh, find Minnie by the pillar and give her the hideous bouquet. Because you have to do everything around here. I've said that in the past. <laughs> I've said that in the past in this game. Like, oh my god, I do everything. I'm always the passenger. I prefer to pass out. I mean, same. I'm like the same. Like, because I have anxiety and all that, I just don't like driving. But I preferred much more to be the passenger. Like this past, like ever since my mama got home from the hospital and we had to take her to her appointments and or even go visit her, I was the main driver. And even that, just going to and from th my home to the next town over, I got old fast because I don't like driving. I got old fast. But I did it because I had to. But still, at the same time, I'm like, can somebody else drive? But I had the I have the main car, so it's what I get for having the main car. These are pretty. 
Is this hideous bouquet? I think that's pretty. Here you go, Minnie. What's the point? Try it, I'll say. Uh, oh goodness, what's this? It's a gift from Mickey. Uh, a bouquet? It's... It's... So original. Oh, did Mickey make it? Oh no. Oh no, no. I did. How kind of you. I'm very grateful. But before you go, I wanted to make sure that everything is alright. You haven't seemed quite yourself lately. Why does everyone keep saying that? I just want to be left alone. Ugh! <laughs> Why does everyone keep saying that? I'm fine. That's good to hear, and thank you for the flowers. It was a lovely gesture. I'll go find a face for them right away. They look like they just need a little love and care, like all of us sometimes. Hell yeah. I don't think that's gonna help. Oh. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uncover the Forgotten's first lost memory in the dreamscape. Return to Mickey. Yeah. SK was wrong. This does hit hard. I like driving. Oh. Oh, I can't stand driving. I don't mind driving in my town. Uh, lately, it's been a pain because there's been like a lot of road work. But in general, driving, I just don't like it. I never have. Like, it took me a while to get my license even. A while, meaning a year after I could. Because I just didn't like it. But I had to do it because I had to... I had to be able to drive. For the time I've driven myself was about six hours to Lansing, Michigan. I'm trying to think what's the longest. I don't think I've driven very long distances ever. I think the longest I've probably driven is about an hour. Because every time I've gone anywhere for a long distance, I've always been driven. Like, I went with my ex a couple times on, um, not trips, but we were like, um, he had to pick up something he had ordered, like online. So like a couple more towns over. So it'd be like more of like a two-ish hour drive or something. I'd make him drive and he likes driving. So it was like, fine, you drive. He knows where he's going anyways. It's his item he's picking up, he can do it. But I was always the passenger. And then when we went to Reno, um, my friend drove because she, one, she knew where she was going. And two, same, she liked driving. So she was driving all of us. And then anytime it was like vacations, any distance we went on, I, I was passenger because I either didn't want to drive, couldn't drive because I was not that age or whatever. But yeah, I've never ever, I've never ever driven really long distance because I've never had to. I've always had someone else I could pin it off on. I don't like driving at night going somewhere. I don't, oh, I don't like driving at night going somewhere. I don't know either. You didn't get your license until you're 23? Oh, that makes me feel so much better. I thought I was like one of those weirdos because I didn't get my license until I was 17. <laughs> I think I was 17. I don't think I was 18. I think I was 17. But I thought I was like one of those weird people who's like, I didn't want my license because I didn't want to drive. And then I started needing to drive because I needed to get to work and I needed to get to school. And so it's just like, all right, I got to do it. But I thought I was like this weird person who didn't do it until she was 17 because I didn't want to. Damn, 23, though. I had a couple friends, though. My brother, I think. I think my brother didn't get his till 20, oh, 23. I was reading that Um, till he was like 18 or so. And then I had a couple friends that I knew from school who waited as well. I don't know why, but. They waited until they were like 20 something too. But yeah, I thought I was like this complete like weirdo for being like 17. <laughs> and I, like all my friends had it. it was, they were like right when they turned 16 and they all had their license, but. You were 21 or 22. He doesn't really? I mean, I know you always, I always hear you say you're picking him up, but I didn't realize he didn't have his license. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's just like so shocking still. Cause like I said, I thought I was weird. <laughs> I thought I was weird for being 17. I mean, I wish I didn't have my license if I'm being completely honest. 
but I need it. Like, if I had a choice, I'd be like, no, nah, I'm good, thanks. Which I guess I could. I could be like, no, nah, I don't need it. I take the, I don't do buses. Long story. I don't do the bus. I had a bad experience. Um, I could do things differently nowadays, especially with like Uber and stuff. But also living in a small town, it's harder to find things like that. Like Uber to take you places because it's a smaller town. So there's not as many people who would do that. It's like food delivery. I don't get food deliveries because I don't, we don't have anything close enough to us. I have to go get it except for pizza. Pizza is the only thing they deliver here. Uh, did you have any luck? Did you have any luck finding some nice flowers? I found some, uh, nice flowers. Made a bouquet. Gave it to Minnie. <laughs> you did? Thanks, pal. But, uh, you didn't have to do all that on your own. You could have just given them to me and I would have taken care of the rest. Or even better, we could have made it together. I messed up again! Go figure! Oh, right. Makes sense. So, why didn't you tell me that? No offense, I... I wouldn't have been had to hold this, this, so why didn't you tell me that? I would have actually probably gone back to Mickey, because I tried to go back to Mickey. <laughs> the game just made me go to Minnie. I even was turning around to go to Mickey. Yeah? Um, I'm just gonna say, oh right, makes sense. Well, it's done, so whatever, I guess. That's okay, pal. I'll just go and see how Mickey or Minnie liked them. Thanks again. Oh, uh, say, I think Goofy's looking for you. Maybe you could go find him. So long for now. Uh, see ya, see ya, see. Now Goofy wants something. Make better speak to him too. Nope, he doesn't drive. I envy him. <laughs> I wish I didn't drive. And unfortunately, like I was saying, actually, my dad fixed what was wrong with our other car. Not there wasn't anything wrong with it, but uh, he got it up and running again. So my car is not the only one. But because I have the newest car and best on gas mileage and all that, and because when my mama was around, it was the easiest car to get her into, I was the driver. Hated it. But... I did it because I had to, and it was my mama, and she needed it. <gasps> Seems like we'll be having a storm soon. Lots of thunder going on, and skies be angry. Ah, uh, lucky! We had, um, storms yesterday. All day yesterday, it was thundering in the distance. It never really went over us. But, like, all afternoon, I was sitting in the living room watching TV with my dad and brother, just listening to the thunderstorms, and I loved it. Today it's super cloudy, but I haven't heard anything. My grandmother didn't drive. She did she did at one time, but something happened and she never drove again after that. I mean, I can understand that. There's been times where, and I don't know what it was, but for me, we were in an accident once. Uh, I'm trying to think when it was. It was like 10 years ago now. I think I had my license. Yeah, if it was 10 years ago, I had my license for sure. I don't know why I was thinking that. Anyways, um, when we were in an accident, I didn't want to drive anymore. Like, I was terrified. And because it happened on a freeway, it took me a long time to ever get back on a freeway. Like, literally, I took all the around routes. I would take the longest route around to somewhere to not get on a freeway. Because of a bad experience. And then my, my grandma was the same. She drove, but then toward the end, uh, not the end, but like, God, how long was it before until she passed away? It was a couple of years. She um, couldn't drive anymore because uh, she had hand surgery. And then after that, she just, she stopped. Don't need another friend with storm damage, right? Hey there. Hi, Goofy. You know, I was just thinking. I can't remember the last time we shared a yummy meal together. Not really hungry. I'm always hungry. Uh, I can't remember the last time. I can't remember the last time something was nice. I just want to be alone. God, these answers! I don't know what to pick. I feel like if I pick any of them, it's going to be the same dialogue. 
I'm just gonna say I'm not really hungry. Cause see, it's always like dot dot dot, and then it goes to the next segment. Uh, I can't remember either. Whoa. Well, I just finished up some. Bleh. I just finished up. I finished up about the juiciest shrimp I've ever seen. No, oh, I fished up, not finished. God damn, I can't read. I just fished up about the juiciest shrimp I've ever seen. How about if you, if I gave that? Can't read. How about if I gave you that and maybe you could go round up the rest of the ingredients and we'll make some of that, that thing. Uh, okay. I don't want shrimp. It. Ew. Rotten carrot, rotten tomato, rotten clam. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Um, I'm assuming they're things I have to find around. What is this? Oh, that's the clam. I thought it was a rock. Got it. I remember the rotten tomato. Tomato and carrot are. The storm is supposed to last about 30 minutes, starting in a few minutes. 50 50 mile an hour wind gusts and supposed to be hailed, but then goes away after about 30 minutes. So will be an interesting few minutes. Wind did, wind did pick up like a minute ago. We'll stay safe. Holy hell, wind. Bleh. No. Yeah, we didn't have any of that here, but that sounds exactly like the storms that are rolling through in the mountains. Like we can hear it in the distance and all the it, warnings go across the screen like, um, the tv screen our computer keeps our computer my phone keeps computer. telling me like all of this stuff but it never passes over us it's always just like right above us like arrow, mountains or, or like to the east of us brad has posted in his discord about his storm da damage he's without power internet and down two cars thanks to a tree no no Damn, everyone is fine though, but the tree knocked him out of his computer chair. Oh, hell yeah, trees will do that. I have been around trees, not anything close to me, like meaning like on my house, near my house, car, or anything like that. But I have been very close to trees falling on my house before, and yeah, it does that. It's freaky as hell. Where the hell is a carrot and tomato? Down, no. Oh, I see one. Where is the tomato? Aria, hello! Thank you so much for the 10 biddies! Yeah, oh, I'll have to go look. Pictures in his Discord? Oh, it's behind this barrel. Okay, I'll have to go look, because I have not been over to his Discord in a little bit. Cook a nasty. Boolia, how do you say that? Let me cook this up and then I'll go to Discord. Blech. It's, it's fish in general, so it's disgusting even if it didn't look like that. Hey Hi, Hawk! How are you? Thank you so much for the follow, by the way. How have you, or how has your day been? Uh, you cook the whole, this, you cook the whole meal yourself? Well, thanks, but I was hoping we could cook it together. I, I agree. I don't know why I'm doing all this on my own. Oh, well, sorry. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. At least we can share it together, right? I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. Girl or goofy. This girl would never say that. I'm not hungry. You okay, pal? Ugh, like anyone would understand, even if I could explain it to them. I'm fine. Everything is fine. 
Uh, all right. But you know, I'm always here if you need me. Whoa. Now I'm gonna dig into this meal you cooked for me. I can't wait to try it. Hmm. Smells kind of interesting. <laughs> Maybe I'll just uh save it for later. Must be one of those dishes that gets even better after it sits for a bit. Whoa. Say, I think Minnie was looking for you. You might want to go see what she wants. I. Minnie wants to talk to you again. Great. Okay, actually, I'm going to stand right here, and then I'm going to go look at my Discord real quick. Because I want to see. It's going good. How is your... How is yours? Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm glad to be back to streaming, so... Super excited. Super happy. And uh, overall... Just feeling well. Everything's been going good for the past couple of days, so can't complain. Oh my lord. That, that's, that's a tree, all right. Sheet. Oh, there's more. Damn, that is a big tree. Thank you for letting me know about that, SK. That's freaking scary. Uh, what are we doing? Okay, talking to me. Hello. Uh, you want something? Ooh. Oh, yes, I do. Uh, ugh, what's it gonna be this time? Uh, I just wanted to tell you Ooh. that you're loved. Aww. Mini. What? I am? That's it? <laughs> That's pretty cheesy. No, what? I am? Of course. Everyone here cares so much about you. You mustn't be afraid to let your friends know how you feel. Even if you feel, even if you might feel a little silly doing it. Oh my god. Oh my god, how hard this hits. <laughs> Cause that's so me. I wish I could disappear. I feel like I'm stuck in between. Something is wrong. I mean, I'm having a good day and I've been okay lately, but I do have those days where I wish I could disappear. I feel like I'm stuck in between. It's fine. I'm fine. Thanks for the talk. Cheat. Like I said, I'm actually really glad I'm streaming this because I think if I wasn't streaming it, it would be harder to be doing this. Uh, collect, okay, memory of friendship. Am I gonna get to collect all these today? Talk to the fairy godmother about what you have learned. Uh, what have I learned? You've returned! Splendid! Now what did you learn inside? It was so strange. I felt everything the Forgotten must have felt. The Forgotten stopped being able to share their feelings, lost their excitement for life, seemed like just a moody teenager to me. No. Uh, both the top two, but what do I want to say? Um... I'm gonna say lost their excitement for life. It was such a beautiful day in the valley, but everything just seemed like a chore. Oh dear, it's sad indeed when what once brought joy now only serves to vex and annoy. I feel that the key to stopping the forgotten lies in another of these memories. Oh. But do you feel at least like you understand the forgotten a bit better now? Eh, kinda. I'll just say yes. 
Forgotten never asked to be stuck here. If I felt that lonely and frustrated, I guess I might do some of the things the Forgotten has done too. I have done some of the things the Forgotten has done. Many would, but just because we can understand the Forgotten doesn't mean we mustn't or we must agree with the path they walked down. Let's hope that the next memory holds the key to finding the Forgotten and helping them. Now, follow me. There's so much here to see. Do, 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 do. Where are we going now? Oh. Goodness me! Some very strong emotions are coming from the next archway. Hmm. Whatever the Forgotten was trying to hide, there's quite a lot of anger and betrayal inside. There's only one thing I... There's only one thing to do. I must pass through. Or <laughs> why do you... Why don't you try becoming the Forgotten this time? Yeah! Well, I gotta do it! No, I'll do it. <sighs> I couldn't have said it better myself. Now, pass through the gate and discover what led the Forgotten to lose their trusting spirits. You've been so I, I'm always waiting for a rhyme. And she doesn't always rhyme. And it annoys me because I'm always waiting for it. I warned you because I knew this quest was going to hit you hard. Yes, you're right. <clears throat> it is because it's very much what I deal with. Uh, both in the past and even every once in a while. Because I do struggle with mental health and I do struggle with a lot of what was being said in that past segment or that past memory, I guess. This one said something about anger, which I don't have a lot of anger anymore. So we'll see what this one is. Oh, my badass self is back. Uh, Mother Gotham wants to talk to do something. Yep. Oh, hello, dear. Just who I was hoping to see. Darling, tell me you've noticed all those ugly night thorns sprouting around the valley and how some of the villagers are starting to lose their memories. <laughs> Merlin hasn't the faintest clue why, what might be causing it. But don't worry, I won't tell him it's all your fault. I knew it. I knew it. It was all my fault. Question mark, I'll say. <laughs> Uh, well, of course it is. Oh. This village clearly reflects you, your dreams, your desires, your fears. And we've all noticed that you haven't been yourself lately. What? No, I'm fine. I don't know what's happening to me. I thought I was hiding it so well. I don't know what's happening to me. Isn't it obvious? But don't worry, there's nothing wrong with you. You're simply growing up. <laughs> oh, that's right. I Supposedly, it's got this Alice in Wonderland feel. Oh, hi, Taser. It's got like this Alice in Wonderland feel, I always I remember. Uh, you're finally seeing the world for the cruel and dangerous place it is. Maybe you're right. The world's not cruel and dangerous. The world can be cruel and dangerous. Just where you place yourself. Maybe you're right? I always am. <laughs> now trust me, after all, we must look out for ourselves. Well, in fact, follow me, you have much to learn. I mean, we must look out for ourselves too, but we also must make sure our friends and family are okay too. And the world can be a cruel place. You just gotta know where to be. And we're done talking about this. Shoot. Where to be and who Shoot. to associate yourself with. <laughs> Hello. Here we are. Now pay attention, dear. These pillars have been here for as long as anyone in the village can remember. Uh. You ask Merlin, he'd tell you they symbolize the virtues that hold this village together and protect it. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, how that man loves to hear himself talk. Don't insult Merlin. I mean... <laughs> I kind of want to say, I guess he can be a bit long-winded sometimes because Merlin can talk sometimes. Ugh. Worse than that, Merlin is a liar. Huh? What do you mean? Merlin told you that these pillars protect the village, but they don't. They only prevent brilliant people like us from reaching our full potential. Everything he's told you about light and dark magic, 
friendship, trust, and so on. Nothing more than lies to keep you from keep you under his control. I don't believe you. I know that you must be right. What should I do now? What should I do now? Time to find out what you're truly capable of. Rip the orb out of the pillar. Then you'll see that then you'll see that what I'm saying is true. Alright. You I'm always right. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. I'm just teasing. Hey. Um, yes. <laughs> Scarlet is always right. Always right. Rip the annoying. Oh, excuse me. Rip the ugly orb. Right out of that annoying pillar of trust. Gimme. Gimme. Look, Mother Gothel, I have an orb. What a pleasure. The orb! Darling, you've done it. And not to worry, I'll dispose of it safely. Mustn't let it fall into the wrong hands. I don't know, this doesn't feel like a good idea. I don't like this. I, I don't like this because I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, now see, doesn't everything feel better without that pesky pillar getting in the way? I, I, I want to say something feels wrong. Because I, I don't feel like that was a good idea. Wrong? Oh, don't be a fool. You've gotten far too used to the way things were. You'll understand soon enough. I can't wait to show you how much grander life can be when you aren't forced to live under Merlin's rules. Mm -hmm. But first, you'll have to do me one itsy bitsy favor. Oh, great. Oh, great. Another favor. Uh, what is it? I do love how obliging you are. You really shouldn't show, you really should show the side of yourself more often. Now to the task at hand. I'm devastated that I've lost one of my most prized possessions, a jewel encrusted mirror. I was admiring myself when I simply dropped it in the water somewhere around here. How clumsy of me. I'll get it, don't worry. Something here isn't adding up. Why don't, why don't you just get a new mirror? Don't worry, I'll get it. And that's why I love you, dear. You do things without asking bothersome questions. True. Uh, finding my jewel encrusted mirror will be no trouble for you. Simply use that fishing rod of yours in the waters of this area. I'll be waiting for you near the giant willow. Not doing anything suspicious. I'm just teasing, darling. See you soon. Ta -ta. I. I'm assuming, ugh, tree, that there'll be a little bubble. Aha! To where I'm supposed to be fishing. That's a ball. I just fished out a, some balls. I wonder if that's for mm, something later. Everything's the 
seriously. Now, shall I tell you my plan? You see, I've always wondered if the dreamland magic of yours might work like Rapunzel's magical hair. So I borrowed a little book from Merlin, printed a few potions and ingredients from Ursula, Aww. and now that the magic of the orb is gone, there's nothing to stop me from throwing it all together to keep you safe in the giant willow forever. Oh, no. Wait for. 
I got fair time. You're not such a fool yourself. Uh, I'm humbled by your oh, underwhelming compliment. Aww. Oh, he's humbled. Uh, now then, I have a small question to ask you. Uh -huh. It seems to me that those of us who are wise, strong, and cunning should take up the mantle of leadership. I agree, that sounds a bit evil. I don't want to rule over anything. Um... He's got points. But the cunning part, not the wise and strong is kind of what I was going for. Um... Personally, I don't want to rule over anything. Uh, only because you haven't seen the good. I, uh... I mean, you could do. Unfortunately, there's one minor inconvenience stopping us from... from assur assuming power. <laughs> Down. Uh, it's that, that monstrosity there, near the end of the river. You mean the pillar and the orb of nurturing? <laughs> Precisely. The windbag with the white mane. <laughs> Spends hours examining it. Uh, play acting as if he's trying to understand its power. But in certain it's there to watch over us. Keep us in our place, as it were. I guess we could take the orb out. I guess we're out the one in the Glade of Trust. Oh. Precisely, and that's just what I've tried. And it seems to feed off the nature around it. If only someone could injure the flora and fauna temporarily, of course. Perhaps you'd be able to destroy it. Is he trying to trick me like Mother Gothel did? I can't trust him. But I can't trust Merlin either. I don't know, I think we can trust Merlin. I'll do it. I'll get that orb out of the pillar. Uh -huh. I knew you'd see reason. If it were me, I'd start by destroying the hideous flowers scattered about. I never have cared for them. You did it. Huzzah. Crush the flowers around the plateau to weaken the pillar's energy. Oh, no. Stomp, 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 stomp. said I found these small bits of darkness. I suppose you could plant them and see what happens. Mm. Try near the pillar itself. Or the entrance to those caverns over there. Or the dreamlight tree that Simba's so fond of. Uh, I'll be waiting near the den, or my den, when you finish the task. Now shoo. I'm done with you. Now shoo. Um, near the dreamlight tree? What is the dreamlight tree? I know what the pillar is. Do I have to, like, water him?
Every time I come back, I see a villain on screen. <laughs> yeah, we're dealing with uh, villain E. Um. Um. Storyline, I guess I would say it. So, lots of villains right now. You'll know it when you see it. Okay. Welcome back, gamer. Back for a bit. Wait, what was the other one, though? Near the mine entrance in the waterfall. Okay. That's Simba's so fond of. I guess right here would be good. I should have, like, done this to where I could just do this and hold it down. I don't know why I made such random holes. tree that would make sense yeah oops brick my button See, I could have been doing that. Instead, I made, like, the most random of holes. Ah, oh, frick. Yes! Or no, but yes! <laughs> This is the forgotten. Uh, so it's it's kind of like, I guess, the villainist like air uh, version of me. Or um, how'd you say it? This is this is Scarlet during the forgotten. And I'm badass. I mean, I wish I could look like this outside this time frame, I guess we could say. But we're uncovering the lost memories of when all this started happening. Return to Scar in his cave, that's right. But I mean, I, I, I would love for this to be my character all the time. This is such my vibe. Hydration? Wow. I mean, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for the hydration. Uh, that's cool. I do love a good villain. Same. I do too. I honestly do too. I don't mind villains in stories because it, it's what makes the story. It's what makes the story. And I mean, I could be a good villain. Aw, uh, Gamer, thank you so much for feeding Sally. I'm asleep. Yep. There we go. Had to find my game again. Aw, uh, oh, thank you so much for the head pat, too. I appreciate it. We forget sometimes. Very true, we do. <laughs> now just give the pesky thing to me. Ow. <laughs> Damn, right in the face. Not only, I got one in the face and in the back of the head. Dang. Thank you, gamer, so much for feeding me. <laughs> I love it when they get, I get the double pie. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, I read that. The orb of nurturing. What would you want with that? Oh, only for safekeeping, of course. I may not understand exactly what it is. Oh, excuse me, but I do, or but I know something powerful and dangerous when I see it. He is tricking me. He's tricking me just like Mother Gothel did. You can't trick me. You. 
I know exactly what you're trying to do, and I'm not gonna fall for it. Oh dear, temper, Scarlet. Can't you see that you've already done exactly what I wanted? <laughs> Look at everything you've broken. Mm. The other villagers will never forgive you for this. Wow! Scar, damn! I watched the anime. I watched the anime Devil Man Cry Baby, Cry Baby, and I cry because of the villain. I don't know any anime. I don't know any anime. This hit hard. The other villagers will never forgive you for this. What have I done? Probably what I would really say. You're wrong, or I just want to say, ah, <laughs> ah. I'm just gonna say that. It's just frustration. Uh, do try to keep your emotions in check. I. Oh. <laughs> Game don't know me. Um, your emotions in check. You, no need to fear. I can easily fix this for you. Simply let me rule Dreamlight Valley. It'll be an immense burden, but I'm prepared to make the sacrifice. Mm. Besides, it's really your only choice. Make me king and stand at my side. <laughs> or run away and never return. You'll never be King Scar. I'm, this is like Lion King. Uh, you'll never be King Scar. I'll make sure of that. You ingrit, ingrate, ingrit. Uh, after all I've done for you. Uh. If you come to your senses, I'll be in my cave. And now am I gonna just like, yeah, boom. I like, I mean, okay, this is hit hard for sure. But I have enjoyed so far seeing how all of this started. But damn, is this deep. Uh, confront Merlin, looks like he has some more advice for us. Oh, hello. Well, I was looking for Scar, but never mind that. You and I are long past due for a chat. Go ahead, yell at me. I've got nothing to talk to you about. You're just going to tell me what to do like everyone else. Go ahead, you're gonna yell at me. Yell at you? Why would I? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not angry. Oh, goodness. I'm... Well, I'm rather worried. Of course, I'm concerned about all that's going on in the village, but it's you I'm most worried about. Well, you don't have to worry. Because I'll run away. I'll run away and never return. Please, Scarlet, let me explain. You, well, you don't ever or even have to listen if you don't care to. Now then, it's only natural that you as a mature, as you mature, there will be parts of yourself you question, and things you wish to leave behind. Superb. There are some things you must never lose faith in. Friendship, love, acts of care for one another, they're the most powerful magic of all. And they're the greatest forces in Dreamlight Valley. Or, well, anywhere. Damn. Uh, they don't feel very powerful. You don't know what you're talking about. Leave me alone. I mean, on a bad day, I would say they don't feel very powerful. I don't want to say he doesn't know what he's talking about. A dark age indeed. I see. Sometimes when we feel cut off from love, from friendship, it might appear that way. But impressions can be misleading. We all care deeply about you. I promise. Love and friendship are always here for you when you're in need of them. You're lying. You'll never understand. Love and friendship. What a joke. You'll never understand? Perhaps not. But I'll never stop my pursuit of knowledge or trying to aid you. Be careful of the path you're walking down, Scarlet. I implore you. Some things must never be forgotten. Some things must be forgotten. Yeah. Hey. 
hell. Hell. Boom. Picture done. Oh, look at me. Is that me like leaving? Tell the fairy godmother what you learn. Well, Scarlet, what did you discover in the final memory? A lot. That was like a lot to take in. Uh, Scar tricked the fur or Scar tricked the forgotten into helping the night thorn spread, and then Merlin showed up. Merlin warned the forgotten not to lose faith in love, friendship, and the power of small acts of care. But it was too late. I think he for I think he almost forgot. I think he almost got through to the Forgotten. The Forgotten was tired of being lectured to. It was too late. The Forgotten was too far gone. We mustn't give up. Merlin may have planted a seed in the Forgotten's mind. Perhaps it's just... Perhaps it just needs a little watering. In the final memory, it looked like the Forgotten ran away to the castle. I've seen that castle before. Yeah, it's the main castle. Uh, there's another side, or there's another side of uh, there's another side of Dreamlight Valley, a shadowy side. You can get there through portals. Of course, if you've ever to save the Forgotten, you must venture to the Forgotten's home and face them there. Hmm. But how to get there? Perhaps it's time I consult with Merlin. Ah. Oh, before I depart, now that the Forgotten's memories are recovered, the orb of remembrance is repaired. Be a deer and return it to the pillar in the Forgotten Lands while I seek out Merlin. Goodbye for now. I will see you soon. I'll see you soon, dear. I know, right? Wow, Disney, that's deep. This is me messing with people's mental health on this one. I mean, yeah. Because, like... <clears throat> it's It was so relatable. Like, I've been in that situation, and I've been in that situation more recently, like, within the past couple months. And it happens every now and again, too. I will get those feelings, like, ah, I'm not worth it. I don't deserve to be around, uh, like, online is what I mean, and all that. And it's like, uh, having a Disney game throw all that at you is wow just wow i haven't done any of the forgotten's quest after that one so i do not know how bad they are i don't know this is one of those ones where i think like after that i think we'll just go do other quests for the day and we'll leave the forgotten stuff till maybe later Cause all of that was super deep. All of that was super deep, totally relatable. And it's supposed to be a chill day. A chill, happy day. Not that it's not, but. Ma'am, can I have that back? Ma'am. Hi. After all this time, here we are, face to face. I have all these these memories in my head all of a sudden. I thought that was going to be the end. <laughs> I thought that was going to be the end. I'm going to take the orb, go back and go do happy things. This was the worst. This was this was oh my god. I don't even I don't even know what to say. I did not realize starting today's stream that we were going to go through that. And I don't know what else to expect now. Did I read all this? You must have seen them too. Uh, so you must know what I am by now. You're my inner child, aren't you? You're everything I left behind. You're some sort of shadow to me, of me. You're some, you're some sort of shadow of me? When I left Dreamlight Valley, I left a shadow, an echo, and that's you. 
Me? How do you know I'm not the real Scarlet? What if you're the Echo? Maybe you're just the part that moved on. A piece of me that left. Doesn't matter, I just want to help. No sudden move. <laughs> no sudden moves, I'm watching you. That's enough, get out of my way. It doesn't matter, I just want to help. I don't want to hurt you. Really, I want to help. Is that what you think about me? That I'm... I'm some kind of weakling who needs help. Wait, oh okay, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. What was I watching last night that that was something? Where, oh God, what was I watching? They were talking about help and stuff like that. Just one more almost as bad, just not quite. Oh my gosh. All right, all right, we got, we got this. We got this. Uh, maybe I was once, but not anymore. Any help doesn't make you weak. Exactly! That's what it was talking about! God, what was I watching? Um, you put on a big show, but I can't tell you, but I can tell you're scared. We're, they were talking about, sometimes, depending on, like, why you're helping. It's better to not help someone, and, and I'm not talking, like, in the way of, like, mental health or anything, but... It was using like, I can't remember, I think it was disabled people or like disabled kids. Like, don't try and help them, let them do it on their own because it makes them feel weak that you're help, trying to help them when they know they can do it on their own. But just let them know that you are there if they do want it. Kind of feel, I just can't remember what the hell it was that they said it. I mean, Merlin wasn't wrong, though. You are loved by lots of people, and you do matter, even if you think you aren't. I appreciate that. Just make sure you do it on stream so we are here for you. Yeah. I am so happy that I'm streaming this, because I think if I wasn't, this would be getting to me for sure. I would be, like, closing the game down and, like, going over and, like, messaging everybody. Like, I this is good. Disney broke me. I want to say this one. You put on a big show, but I can tell you're scared. If you really felt like you were so strong, then you wouldn't have stayed in the shadows all this time. Whatever was happening to whatever was happening to you, Merlin could have helped. You think I didn't try to ask for help? After that day with Scar, no one could hear me. I was trapped in the shadows, alone, lost. It takes all my magic now just to step out into the light. But you're here now. Let's fix all of this. Fix all this? That's exactly what I've been trying to do. I haven't been hiding. I've been busy. Busy? Doing what? Do you expect me to just tell you my whole plan? Like some sort of... Some kind of villain at the end of a movie? I've got a plan I can help. I mean, you're kind of giving off... <laughs> I mean, it, oh, if you've got a plan, I think I said I've got a plan. If you've got a plan, I can help. You can never help because you could never understand. There's only one way to make sure that no one ever gets pulled to the dark side of Dreamlight Valley like I was. Only one way to make sure no one is ever lonely again. I need to rip open the walls between worlds, between Dreamlight Valley and the other side. And now I have the last thing I was missing. The way to fuel the spell, the Orb of Remembrance. Bitch, get back here! <laughs> well, that's not good. Tell the, Tell the fairy godmother what happened. Fairy godmother! Are you home? 
I could have looked on the map, but I'm just gonna go in here. Oh, she's not home. Ah, she's way over here. Okay. But damn, dizzy! Pick this up on our way by. Wait, oh, there she is. Frickin' forgotten lands and all the crap on the ground I always get stuck on. Something's happened, hasn't it? The sky above the valley seems to be opening. Wait a moment. What happened to the Orb of Remembrance? The Forgotten showed up and stole it from me. The Forgotten? Oh dear. That's not all. The Forgotten is planning some sort of spell to tear down the walls between Dreamlight Valley and the Dark Side. None of it made any sense. A spell so no one will ever be lonely again? Yeah. Goodness, they want to rend the fabric of reality, tear down the walls between one world and the next. That's a very dangerous sort of magic. Mm. With just the slightest slip, the Forgotten could destroy everything. You mean all of Dreamlight Valley? Oh. No, I mean everything. Mm. Dreamlight Valley, the dark side, the here and there, the realms, mm. perhaps even the waking world make sure that doesn't happen i did it i didn't sign up for this i'm freaking out both i'm freaking out and i didn't sign up for this i'm freaking out <laughs> i wanted to say the first one but i thought this one was better uh i'm just having a bit of trouble processing the fact that my lost inner child is about to accidentally destroy the universe it's difficult magic dear for now, Dreamlight Valley is safe and stable, but we must do what we can while we're able. Soon you'll have no choice but to cross to the dark side of Dreamlight Valley and confront the Forgotten. Mm. I'll consult with Merlin on how we might do that. In the meantime, let me just ran by my screen. Uh, in the meantime, you should do what you've always done. Mm -hmm. Keep taking care of Dreamlight Valley. Woo! Holy hell! Am I happy that's over with? Am I happy that's over with? Quests. So what do I have to do? I gotta get her to level two, okay. So you know what? I think I'll get her to level two, but I think we're done with that part of the story. <laughs> I think we'll do some of our friendship quests for the day. But I think um, I will get her uh, to at least level two so it'll be unlocked. Where is she? Here she is. I could give her some purple bell flowers. Oh wait, I gotta get her level two. See it? Um, blue milk, mar marsh milkweed. Jesus, though. Like, I kind of wanted to say that one thing I just said. Where am I? Holy, I'm lost. Um, like I didn't sign up for this today. I thought we were gonna play a nice, fun, chill Disney game. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. No! No, I'm still stuck. Disney be deep. All right, now let's go do some cheery stuff. Let's go help our let's go help our valley friends. I could do the one that's on the screen I was reading. Um It seems like I was going to do something else before I did that. Um Oh, let me go talk to Nala. I haven't opened her quest yet because she was sleeping last time I tried. I kinda need your help. There's another player in my game using the name S <laughs> Sniffs <of> Balls. <laughs> uh great minds think alike. So not as bad as the Steve name I had the other day. Wait, which one? I saw a couple you had the other day, I think it was. I've been scouting the valley and it seems to have many of the, training, many of the things we have at home. Mm. Lots of watering holes or water holes, gathering spots and caves, and a few things I don't understand very well. 
But there's one thing missing that would make it better for lions. Do you think you could help me change that? Yes! Yeah, so let's make Dreamlight Valley more lion friendly. Thank you. So in the Pride Lands, I'm in charge of finding food and keeping the Pride safe and fed. I'd like to do that for this place too. But there isn't a good hunting ground. I'll make one so you feel more at home, a hunting ground. What do you need that for? But there's nothing around here to hunt. I kind of want to know what you need that for, just to see what she'd say. Uh, just a few things. With everything you've done around here already, it shouldn't be too tough. We'll need to find a stretch of flat land somewhere without much to get in the way. I guess Dazzle Beach would be the closest thing we have. I mean, I guess any of them would work, but okay. Apparently, it's going to be on Dazzle Beach. All right. We'll want to create some cover for us to crouch behind and car uh, carve some trails to help bring prey out of hiding. Oh, and there's one more thing that makes a territory good for lions. A giant scratching post, a lion-sized kibble dispenser, industrial strength catnip. Oh my god, I love all these. Oh, that name! Oh my god, yeah, I saw that one. I saw that one. A giant scratching post. <laughs> You mean like a tree? Not exactly. We need a spot where we can rest at the end of the long day. Oh. Of a long day. A large flat rock would be best. Maybe I've got something like that, but if not, Scrooge's store should. I'll check. While you do that, I'll keep scouting for danger. I'll come talk to you once I've made Dazzle Beach Lion friendly. Hi. Thank you. I've been trying to unlock that for like weeks, and every time I get on. Um, why does Buzz want to talk while I'm standing here? Every time I got on it, I was always, oh, those little stranger dudes. Oh, uh, little alien dudes, I mean. Uh, she was asleep. Well, we're right here. No, I didn't want to harvest. No, Buzz. Push. Push. There we go. Uh, I was gonna say stranger danger. Uh, Space Ranger, we've got another station or situation on our hands. This one's a code L5X. Classic figurine and garbage disposal. Child administered haircut to doll. Pointy toy left on floor and hallway. Wandering extra extra trash reels. Pointy toy left on floor and hallway. Uh, that would pose quite a danger to any parent or sibling walking around in bare feet, but that code is L5Y. I better review your handbook. Oh, damn. Uh, L5X means we have toys where they shouldn't be. Some of the aliens are hiding in the villagers' houses. Uh-oh. I guess I'll need to check for them. Yeah. Precisely. The last thing we need is a villager stepping on one of them in the middle of the night. Yeah. There's no telling which house they might be hiding in today. So I recommend you keep an eye out while you do your regular rounds of the village. Yep. I'll be on alert as well. I'll let you know if I see anything. Like aye, aye, gotcha. 15 of them, gotcha. Well, I'll collect those over time. That's what I did with the last one too. Let's go talk to Moana because I think this is her final quest. Or no, excuse me, uh, Mirabelle, but I've talked to Moana as well. Luckily, they're both in, um, Remy's wedding mother, or excuse me. Fairy godmother want, what color? Purple bell flower. Is that this? Oh, that's a falling one, whatever. I think the other ones are in the... Oof, I forgot what it's called. Oh, I gotta bring it to Anna! <sighs> I'll talk to Moana since I'm here. Uh, what can I do for you? Um, oh, do you remember how Mirabel, Anna, and Elsa, and you used to be friends? You know, that's funny. I was just thinking about that the other day. We had so much fun together. I'm planning to throw a friendship festival because... You're all awesome. You're all back in the valley. Why not? Oh, you're yeah. all awesome. Oh, thanks. You are too. Shucks. See? 
This is the kind of Disney you'd expect. Uh, I want it to be a present from your pal. I plan on cooking it and I was wondering if you would help or if you wanted to help with anything. I have these pieces of broken table. Oh. I'd love to help. Maybe Anna could work on fixing the Madrigal table. Or Madrigal? Madrigal. Uh, she could ask Kristoff and Elsa for help. I'm sure that's a project they'd love. Oh, and I can make a new cloth for the table out of an old sail. Give me half a day and it'll be done. Great, I'm gonna take care of the cooking. Anything you want to make, anything you want to make sure is on the menu. I want, ooh, bagnel, bagnellos. Bun, bun, I think I said that right. Bagnel, bun, yeah, whatever. I know I said it right the last time, now I forget. Bunuelos. Los, I think. Anyways, for Mirabelle, so I was wondering what you would like. Ew. Maybe a large seafood platter? Mm. Here, Remy gave me this. It has a drawing of one. Oh, it's a recipe book. Thank you, Moana. This will help a lot. Yeah, I don't know if I actually know that one yet. Just find me later. I toodles. Oh, you'll get eight one day and the rest the next day. No, I hate that. I hate having to wait. I don't know why I did that, because literally this is right where I was walking. Hello. I need Hi. To talk to you. But anything I have to wait Hi. for the next day is just so annoying. Uh, okay, I'm a bit confused. Uh, why are you giving me broken table pieces? Oh wait, is that the Madrigal table? Yes, it's broken and I want to fix it. To make Mirabelle happy, to honor your friendship with Mirabelle, to throw a fun party, all of the above. To honor your friendship yeah. with Mirabelle. Uh, oh, that's so nice of you. And I have to help. <laughs> oh, I know, I'll ask Christophe and Elsa to help us fix the Madrigal table as a gift to Mirabelle. Christophe can help repair it and we can make some new chairs. Wow. And maybe Elsa can use her powers to decorate the wood. It'll be fun and we can throw a party to celebrate our friendship. Mm. Oh, but what about Moana? She always used to help us with these parties. I talked to her. She's making a brand new tablecloth using an old sail. And I'll take care of the food. I'm thinking banuelos. It's bugging me that I don't know that. I forgot that. Anyways, to celebrate Mirabelle and a large seafood platter for Moana. Uh -huh. Is there anything you and Elsa would like to eat? Wait. Why is Anna asking me that? Is there anything you and Elsa like to eat? Shouldn't that be me asking her? Right. Because then she just answered herself. Wait, wait. I, the chocolate. Chocolate. I mean, I would answer that too. Definitely chocolate. Maybe you could make some chocolate chip cookies? Remy introduced us to them, and they're amazing. Uh, he gave me a recipe book in case I wanted to make them myself. Here, you can borrow it. Yeah. Now I'll go. Now I'll go work on the Madrigal table. It's probably, it'll probably take us a day to fix it. We'll talk oh, thank soon. you, Magic. I'll okay. go check that out in just one sec. Thank you, thank you, thank you for letting me know. See, that one I knew. I think I know how to make chocolate chip cookies, too. Because a lot of the time I like to, like, just, like, put recipe or recipes, put ingredients together to just try and find out the recipes on my own without learning, actually learning the recipe. And those are two either I've come across or I... I accidentally made or I did it in another quest. Let me go check this core before I forget.
Thank you, Magic, for letting me know that. Uh, what was it? Oh, flowers. This is the flower, right? Every time. No, that's a rising one. Frick. Oh, chest. I know where these are. These are down here. The blue ones for mother. Or, not mother. God, I keep wanting to call her mother for some reason. The fairy godmother. I think, if I'm not mistaken, the blue ones look white. No, maybe not. Never mind. This is blue. Or did she want... Oh, great. Or did she want white? Brain... No, she wanted blue. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I'm just gonna look. I can't remember exactly where these flowers are. It's been so long. Oh, it's the ones in the forest. Ugh. I was right there. Money, 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 money. I should look at what the, um tasks are for the star path because I haven't really looked at them yet. Those I usually just do off stream. Remove night thorns, mine minerals, complete dreamlight valley duties, hang out with making hang out with making and friends. Give making and friends our favorite gifts, catch fish. Okay. Yeah, those are more things I kind of do offline. If I happen to do them, then I happen to do him. Oh, purple flowers. Aha! Purple flowers. So many people now! Where- where is she? I've lost the fairy godmother. Oh, there she is. I love my little shadow squirrel. Isn't he adorable? He is my favorite little companion that we have in the game. I can't... He came with... I think one of the star paths, and as soon as I got him, I was like, no, I have to have him. He's so cute. No! He can't... No, wait, no, sorry. He came with um Olaf's, like, story. Because there was, like, these shadow squirrels and everything, and I was like, I need... That needs to follow me everywhere. But true, those are rodents too, and I never would have thought about that. Uh, here's a flower. Ah. I could probably make her mint candies too. I love this. I love this too. I can't wait to get to level 10. 
This looks really nice too. Oh no! Um, mm. what do I need? I'll just put her as mining. I don't know. I, I haven't played this in so long. I don't know who's what. Usually I keep everything nowadays to like mining and gardening and then I just use the few people I have for digging, forging, or no, and fishing. And uh, the forging and digging though, it's like whoever I have, <clears throat> they're good. I'll just leave them because it's not that, I don't do a lot of it. <clears throat> Excuse me, my dear. Okay, I ain't talking to you though. No, I don't want to do no more of that forgetting stuff today. We're going to do other happy quests and we'll do that either way later or, um, uh, next time. Gardening? I, did you put her as gardening? I think I have a couple gardeners, but I don't remember. I usually put nowadays anybody new. I put them either as mining, gardening, or fishing. Not even fishing as much, because I don't do a lot of fishing. But I'm o you're always mining for m materials, and then gardening for uh, money. So it's like, I'll, everyone I have selected basically for the other ones, are, I feel, are good. I think I have a couple of gardeners, though. I don't know. I wish I could have looked beforehand. That's what you put for her? It was between gardening and mining, for sure. I have no idea. I think... I don't know what Nala and Simba are. I think those are the only two I don't have at level 10. Oh good, I have ingredients for all this. Oops, Robin. I'm gonna have to buy- I always try and keep some of this on hand, so I'm gonna have to buy some blood. Either is good, not wrong. Very true. I hate how it tries to give me, take my holiday squid. Telling the fairy godmother to them. <laughs> it does sound a bit harsh, doesn't it? I always keep an extra two butters on hand in case I'm not here and I'm at my house. Oh, wait for everyone to finish. Okay, so I just gotta wait. Cool. So while we wait for them, we go do something else. I got a lot of quests. Oh, I should just go peek in everybody's houses and see. I gotta talk to Merlin twice, so I guess we should just do that. We have to report back to him for this one. I don't even remember what this one was. Confront Ursula. Listen to Mother Gothel and Ursula as they meet. Wait until tomorrow to listen to them. Which I think I might have done off stream. I don't remember. You found something strange in the glade. Return blah, 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 blah. And then I also have to go talk to Minnie as well. Or Merlin for Minnie's quest. So we'll just go do that. Oh my gosh. What do horses say when they fall? Help. I've fallen and I can't. Giddy up. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Hi, Marsh. How are you? Now I gotta find Merlin. There he is. He's at home. I'll just walk. I know that's not good. What's happening to Mickey's house, but that looks really cool. Suck, Minnie, I need it in your house. I need to find if you have little aliens. Oh my gosh, I love the sound when you're in their house and it's raining. Was that a thing before? Probably. 
Good, just hot and tired. Oh, I'm sorry you're hot and tired, but I'm glad you're good nonetheless. I feel bad for everybody. Like, everybody keeps like saying like, uh, it's so hot and I'm over here. Like, it's like 70 degrees today. <laughs> I like, I ain't complaining, but I feel for everybody because I know it's gonna happen to me soon and I ain't looking forward to it. Uh, why can't you hear a pterodactyl going to the bathroom? Because the pee is silent. Oh my god, no. <laughs> oh. No, boo! Yes, yes, there you are. Good. I guess we'll do this one first. Complete secrets and schemes. Have you uncovered what Ursula and Mother Gothel are scheming about? Those ingredients and vials they're trading, they must be potions. But for what? Ursula told me it was just something to get rid of pests in the Great... In the Great Willow. <laughs> ha! I find that most unlikely. She and Mother Gothel, they just seem to be friends. Oh, that was me, sorry. Uh, friends? Balderdash. I don't buy it for a second. Ursula doesn't have friends, just people she can use. Maybe it's just not our business? I don't know. After seeing all that from Mother Gothel and the Forgotten, got my eye on her a little closer. We should leave her alone for now. You're right, I still don't trust her. You're right, I still don't trust her. Nor do I. We'll need to keep a closer eye on those two. Excellent. But for now, I suspect your little chat with Ursula may have deterred her away, or her, from whatever schemes she've been conco concocting. <laughs> Thank you, Scarlet. Dreamlight Valley owes you another great debt. <gasps> now then, I've concocted a little something to thank you for your help. Here, a bit of Dreamlight ought to compensate for your troubles. <laughs> I don't need any Dreamlight. I got a lot of Dreamlights. I got 69,000, 69, nice. <laughs> 69,000 dream lights. A detective showed up at my house and asked me where I was between five and six. I told him kindergarten. <laughs> oh no, I was not expecting that. If I ever get asked that for sure, that is what I'm saying. That is for sure what I'm saying. Oh wait, Merlin! Well, hello. I believe I know precisely why you've come to speak to me today. It's Minnie, isn't it? She's gotten herself in quite a jumble, worrying she might disappear again, hasn't she? It's Minnie, all right. She asked me to come talk to you. We need a wizard for this. Like, I haven't played these in a while, so now I forget what these quests are about, so. Uh, we need a wizard for this. She didn't want to bother you, you know? Since you're Mr. Magic Guy. We need a wizard for this, I guess? Hmm, well, yes. I, uh, I suppose you do. For matters such as this. Is there anything in your magic books that might help? Listen closely. Actually, I've given it quite a, quite a lot of careful thoughts, and I think I know precisely how we can fix this predicament. Outstanding. We'll use the most powerful kind of magic there is. First, you'll need to speak to some villagers and ask them what they like best about Minnie. Aww. Hmm, maybe I should ask Elsa, Anna, and Moana. Why do I have to ask those three? And the reason I say that is because I actually have a quest with those three. And listen closely. This part is key. Once you've spoken to them, you must bring me some dream shards. Got lots. Wait, dream light? Wait. Ah, whatever. Uh, with all that, we can sort out Minnie's dilemma. Or at least, I very much hope we can. Bum, bum, bum. I used to be a programmer for autocorrect. They fried me for no reason. No. <laughs> I also know somewhat of a daring dad joke. Mind if I share? Go ahead. You may. Oh, wrong button. 
Dream shards, yeah. I got four of five, or four of, what did you say? Six? I got a lot. So I'm gonna go grab those real quick and then I'm gonna go talk to everybody. I think they said six. Oh, I put these back now. I don't need those. All right, go talk to Elsa, Anna, and Moana. Oh my god! <laughs> perfect yes thank you for sharing that one that one made my day <laughs> hey hey Moana quick question what do you like best about Minnie uh, about Minnie hmm well there's oh or how about oh I can't forget yeah. I've got it what makes Minnie the most special is her strength of heart. True that. Uh, no matter what storms come Minnie's way, she's she hoists the sails and keeps going. She never gives up. And she knows everyone in the village. She So she knows so many great stories. <laughs> now that I think about it, she kind of reminds me of my grandma Tala. Or grandma Twa. I think it's Tala. Oodles. That's cute. I, I really like things like this where it's more oops that's not the funny one more it's more cute and not so dim Let's see if i can cut off elsa it's a banger all right it is <laughs> i enjoyed that one hello is there something i can help you with i need you to tell me the thing you love most about minnie can you think of anything, something really special and unique about her? Trust me, it's a whole magic thing. No, something really special and unique about her. I think I know exactly what you mean. Oh. When you talk to Minnie, you just know that she's truly listening to you. She gives wonderful advice, but really, it's the listening that sets her apart. Huh? Was that all you needed? That's it, perfect! Thanks, Elsa, you've been a Goodbye. big help. Perfect. Another one? Yes! Yes, another one. Oh, now she's inside. Before I talk to you, Elsa, or Anna, excuse me. Yes, you've got a little alien in here hey you're here oh you have that look on your face scarlet no oh, <laughs> what kind of look that i that i have something strange and possibly magical to ask you about so don't ask too many follow-up questions <laughs> look <laughs> wow that's sure a look um okay if a, if a bra is an over-the-shoulder folder holder does that make a junk strap an under the Yes. <laughs> oh my god, I hate it here. <laughs> oh my god, I loved it. <laughs> oh my god, I did not know what to expect after I read, read the first part. Yes, same. Yes. Oh my god. It's not me this time, Magic, nope. It's not SK this time. Oh my god, that would be my ice water. 
It's one of those ones where you start reading it and you, as you're reading it, you're like, oh my God, what's coming next? And then you read it and it's like, yes. What did Anna say? <laughs> oh, but I had that look on my face, yeah. I didn't realize that was a look I had. I gotta say that. Because I didn't realize that was a look I had. Oh, definitely. It's kind of like the look I get on my face when I'm on a search for chocolate. <laughs> True. Well, let's hear it. How can I help? It's simple. Just tell me what you like best about <laughs> Mitty. Oh, I love it. Anyways, what I like best about Mitty. Oh, hmm. <laughs> That's a tough one. There's so much to like. To love, really. Yeah. I guess if I have to narrow it down, I'd say that... What I like best about Minnie is how she always makes me smile. She's so kind, but also so funny. She always notices the little things around here. <laughs> she makes me laugh almost. <laughs> I like how she's talking about making someone laugh. Uh, she makes me laugh almost as much as Olaf does. Oh. Did that help? <laughs> that was perfect, Anna. Thank you for your help. Oh my Ooh, gosh. Thanks. That was a good one, though. It was. <laughs> It was so good. Like I said, it was one of those ones that kind of catches you off guard, too. Like, you're reading it, and you're like, um, okay, what's coming next? And then it hits you. Actually, really quickly. I'm gonna walk over here, watch Mer- No, I'll pause it. I am going to take a quick break because I need to go grab something to eat. But I'm going to leave myself right here in front of Merlin, leave the map up, and take a small break. So if anybody else also needs to get up, stretch, get something to eat, use the restroom, whatever, that is what I'm going to do. So I shall be back. Wipe tears from my eyes from laughing so hard. <laughs> so I shall be back in just a few moments. but thankfully no one <laughs> oh my god I was like inside him <laughs> oh my god I never saw him I literally was inside Ghostface oh my god it's not a heart attack oh. I'm stuck on a freaking pool! You gotta be kidding me! I was stuck on a stupid pool! They couldn't get off it! That was rather embarrassing more than anything. A for effort. Sorry, Vittorio, I tried to. Oh my god, what a shot! Yes, that was a really good shot. I will give you that. Go find Hatch. <laughs> Dwight is staring at the hook I died on. Or is everybody else just out of curiosity? I appreciate you, Dwight. You are an amazing player. <laughs> oh! He left a toolbox where I died! It's just as good as leaving some flowers, you know, at someone's gravesite. He left me his toolbox. I appreciate you. 
Dwight is mourning your short friendship. He is. He is. Yeah, my flashbang was gone. Oh. No! Shame on you! <laughs> Got it! Let's go! Leave her alone! If, I could, if, I, if my word counted magic, I would say, yes, you can go home. If only I could have that power. I just bit my tongue eating my snack. All right, back to it. Return to Merlin with the, to complete the spell. Well, hello. I spoke to the other villagers and gathered these stream shards. Is there anything else? Is there anything else we need for the spell? I sure hope this enchantment works. Make with the higget higgitus figgitus. Is there anything else we need? <laughs> spell? What spell? Oh. Oh dear. I'm. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've had a bit of a misunderstanding. Well now. You I see. merely needed these dream shards for my research. Terribly sorry. Oh, goodness. I thought you understood. No, no. I'm afraid there isn't any sort of spell or enchantment that will solve Minnie's problem. But uh, there must be some way to help her. Then why'd you? Then why'd you make me do all that work? Yeah, Marilla, why'd you make me do all that work? Just a moment. Just a moment. I'm getting to that. Excellent. You see. What protects Minnie, what protects all of us here, is an altogether different sort of magic. Quite miraculous. How perfect was this after what we watched earlier? Friendship, love, care, that's what binds this valley together. And kind words and small favors are the source of all this magic. Minnie simply needs to be shown that spirit will never leave this place. So that's why you want me to talk to some of the villi other villagers. If I tell Minnie what they said, oh. it will remind her of the love that binds us all together and that everything is safe here as so long as we never forget it again. I'll give it a try. Thanks, Merlin. Well, wow, I'm kind of glad I saved this mini challenge or quest for... After that, talk to Minnie. Can do. Welcome back. Thank you. Minnie, Minnie. There she is. We walk. Minnie, Minnie. Hello. Oh, hello, Scarlet. Was Merlin any help sorting this magic out this magical muddle? The books he lent me had so much interesting information, but nothing that will help us. Merlin gave me a very powerful spell. He helped put some things into perspective. We had a little misunderstanding. He helped put some things into perspective. Oh, good. Merlin's so helpful that way. What did he tell you? He told me that there's a magic more powerful than any simple spell holding this village together. It's a kind of magic that runs on kind words, caring for one another, 
always being there for each other. Hell, all of the above. I feel like always being there for each other would hold caring and kind words. Really? That does sound like a very special kind of magic. Merlin got me to talk to some of the villains. Imagination. I hate it when they Powerful. talk in the background. Uh, Merlin got me to talk to some of the other villagers so we could remind you how important you are around here. Elsa told me about how you're always there to listen to her whenever she needs a friend. And Anna told me that nobody can make her laugh like you do. Except maybe Olaf. And Moana, she said that what she loves best about you is your strength of heart and that you never give up no matter what. Oh my, I don't know what to say, Scarlet. That is so sweet. And I'm very grateful. But how does that stop us from disappearing into the here and there? Because that's the magic, Minnie. We'll never disappear again as long as we never stop caring for each other, always make sure everyone feels love, always respect what's special about each other. There goes Eric behind us playing the tune for this special moment. Never stop caring for each other. Oh, of course. It's so simple. I'm a little embarrassed that I didn't see it before. Well, I guess I can return these books to Merlin. As long as you and I are here, I know everything will be okay. Because I'll always make sure everyone knows how loved they are. And I'll always... And I'll... Always protect the valley, help everyone out, solve all the weird problems around here. <laughs> I kind of want to say solve all the weird problems around here, but no. I'll always protect the valley. I know you will. Oh, I just thought of something else. I was so worried about everyone disappearing, I didn't realize how much clay I asked you to bring me to build the rustic clock tower. Was it too much? It was a tad much! But it was no trouble. Wasn't too bad. It was so much clay, Vinny! <laughs> I remember that challenge. I remember that quest. It was so much clay. I can't say, I can't not. It was so much clay. Oh, I'm so sorry, Scarlet. I didn't realize how hard it would be to find. So thank you. I found some clay myself. I want you to have it so you can build whatever you like. And Uncle Scrooge says he's so happy that the rustic clock tower is helping keep time in the village that he wants to give you a little reward too. <laughs> Here you go. 50 clay back? That's like the devs saying, oops, that was a lot. Sorry about that. Here. Here you go. That was actually kind of funny. I was not expecting that at the end. Why do all the mosquitoes want to be in my apartment and eat me when I sleep? Can relate. Cause I don't know. My brother right now has like a bunch of mosquito bites all over him from kind of the same thing. And then the other day when I was outside, I watched um, the cars and I was being eaten alive outside. And they be kind of bad here too. Oh, not that one. Oops. Oh, I have to put together a casual outfit. Let's do that. Oops, I have two of the three casual items on. What would be another casual item? And how do you tell? Oops. Oh, it tells you. Never. Um. Let's just stick something random on until. Uh, later. No taser. Don't bark. Let's just put these on. Yeah! These are cute. Alright, return to Simba. He's at Pride Rock. 
Me too. A lot of them have gone down though, but still, yeah. And they've just been bad. And like, I've taken out a lot of mosquitoes lately, but still. One more joke and then it's off to bed for me. Perfect. They go for my ears and I'm very sensitive to loud sounds. Oh yeah. I'm not, I'm not sensitive to loud sounds, but hell, when I was outside the other day, they just kept buzzing my ears. Like a couple of them landed on me and bit me, but most of them were like, just like dive bombing me, I swear. So I hear, I, I even start sleeping with earplugs, which is highly, oh yeah, highly uncomfortable. Hi, plasmid. I've had to sleep with earplugs for anxiety reasons. When there's high winds or lots of wind during like dry months or even wind in general, I sometimes can't sleep. And I tried before putting like earplugs in like for music, but those were kind of uncomfortable. I got tangled up in the cords. So I started trying to sleep with earplugs uncomfortable uncomfortable don't buy me i'm cracked out on coffee no no worries perfect coffee's the way to go i actually thought about getting more coffee when i got up just now but i thought water was more important but i could use another cup of coffee for sure oh shit Thank you, Denny, so much for the shout out for Plasma. Oh, How have you me. been, Plasma? It's been a while. I hope you've been doing well. <laughs> Any chance you could help me? Wow, that does look more comfortable. I mean, to put some ears on. Uh, so, um, Timon, and I was gonna say Simone. Timon and Pumbaa would approve. Uh -huh. But I don't think comfort is everyone's problem. Some folks around here are just. Downright cranky. Maybe a change of scenery would help. You're right. But could make it more relaxing. Some people are just cranky by nature. Not wrong. You're mm. right. Great. So I've been thinking. Yeah. Growing up in the jungle with Timon and Pumbaa helped me a lot. There was an oasis there where we could really relax. And relaxing is a lot easier when the place you live is peaceful. There was all this green, lush jungle and lots of places just to sit and enjoy the moment. God, that sounds amazing. What if the meadow could feel like that? Yes, I'll make it so relaxing you'll feel like you're back in the oasis. I'll start by putting down some seating and add to the landscape. So long. Seating and landscape, gotcha. Of course, you deserve one, of course. You not wrong. All right, do I want to do this right now? Do I want to do this right now? Not really, let's do something else. I kind of wanted to do this one anyways. I just realized I needed, I'll keep my ears on. I just realized I needed, um, I'm trying to think where our impatience are. One little thing. The Forgotten Lands. What was the other one? Oh, Green Passion Lily. Okay. Refreshing my memory since it's been so long. Frosted Heights, that's right. All right, well, we're right here, so we'll go up here. I forgot what color I needed, but I'll look that up in a minute. Oh my God. <laughs> and with that, I'm off to bed. Oh my God, thank you so much, gamer. Thank you so much, gamer, for being here and the amazing jokes but yes go get some sleep if you need it i appreciate you my friend you definitely made my day brighter with those jokes i loved them oh my lord but thank you so much <laughs> and have a wonderful night's sleep i you know what i already forgot what i was doing light impatience that's right have a great rest of Scream, Scarlet. Enjoy dinner after. I will, dude. Thank you so much, Gamer, for everything. 
Have a wonderful rest of your night. Get some good sleeps and have a great start to your Tuesday as well. This fight? Nope. <laughs> See you later, gamer, and thank you again. I think those are purple. Light. Would Brenda's beaver agree though? <laughs> good question. Very good question. And if nobody knows what we're talking about, you just have to check out the Discord. It's all posted in the Discord. My god, though, last night, or last night, yesterday, whenever it was, I saw it. Both of them. I was just sitting there, like... The first one that Gamer posted, I was like, what the heck is this? You know, like, at first, when she he started reading it. And then it just kept going, and I'm like, oh my god, this is so good. This is so freaking good. And then Denny's like, oh, there was another one. And I'm like, wait a minute, there's more? I must, must know the more, the more. The rest of the story. Those were so good. Are these all orange? Are these red? I think I'm picking red ones. These are orange. I like how on Denny's, where the person who was reading it was just like, I can't, I can't anymore. <laughs> He's like, I'm done. No, there's other one. There's even more. Oh my goodness. I must go see him. Those were too freaking amazing. I, those are those things where I like, I can't believe they exist. I'm glad they do, but I can't believe they exist. Did they finally fix the bug up here where every flower was the same color? There was a bug where every uh, passion lily was, I think, orange. Oh, please be one more green one. One more green one. Oh, I'm stuck. Crap the cutouts. Okay. Cutouts for what? I don't know. Oops. Oh, I can walk down this way. doesn't matter I guess it's any of these I'm glad it tells me though over easy chair I love that I might actually I, I'm not gonna do it right this second oh, swimming pool that's eh, kind of big though probably I might craft like, I um, mean, you know, not the beach ones, but some of these new ones they have here just to see what kind of customization is on them. Bring the cutouts to Olaf. Perfect. He's not too far. I'm loving this music today. I was really happy when I logged into Pretzel Rocks today and they had uh, one of my favorite stations, which is this one. I wish it was the. Electro swing, but this would be probably my second favorite of theirs. Oh, so glad you made it. Oh, these are perfect. We've set the scene, but there's one final thing we need to do to really sell the illusion. The costumes. We need a Donald Duck mask. 
Okay. Anna's been handling wardrobe. Could you talk to her? I gave her some very specific instructions, and it sounds like she might need some help. Hands Got it. Down, On it. This is the best day of my I've been talking to Anna a lot today. Would you like to do something together? Of course. Uh, you're here, thank goodness. I've been so busy dealing with the rest of the costumes that I haven't had time to make the Donald, Dus Donald Duck mask yet. Mm. Olaf is really specific about what he wants it to look like. <laughs> it sounds a little strange to me, but who am I to question his artistic vision? Mm. We'll need some fiber, softwood, fabric. <laughs> Oh, and some of Donald's feathers. What? I gotta go pluck some of Donald's feathers? He must have left some lying around. I guess I could just pluck. <laughs> it actually said that. I guess I could just pluck a few off him. I'm saying that because that's what I said. Uh, please don't do that. <laughs> Let me think. Well, if you weren't looking for strands of my hair, you check my hairbrush. Uh -huh. Hey, yeah. maybe there are some feathers in his house. Okay, I'll come talk to you once I've got everything. Darn it. Ooh, thanks. I was gonna just pluck some feathers off Donald. All right, I need to go make fabric and fiber, apparently. I might. Have some in my inventory, I have to go look. I'm assuming. Oh, it says search Donald's house, sorry. I was getting ready to say, I'm assuming I gotta go search his house, but yes, it even says that. Jeez, Donald. Shedding much? And while we're here, pick up a guy. There's still animals today, right? I think I've collected all of them. I still haven't collected all the critters. Not here today, not here today. I just forget when these are around. I think. This one's like Wednesdays, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go check my house. Fabric and fiber. I have two fibers, okay. I need 13 more, so I guess I'll just make 15. I have to make 15. Bring what you've gathered to Anna. Dang it, I always forget to do that. When you're doing quests like this, you should just like have them follow you, like as if you're hanging out. And I never do. I always have to come back to where they are. Not a big deal, or just it would make like a lot faster. All right, here you go. Hey, you're here. Oh, looks like you've gathered or you've got everything we need to make the Donald Duck mask. I'll put it together. I'll put it all together. Uh-oh, uh-oh, what? What's wrong? <sighs> the mask. I built it exactly to Olaf's specifications, but it doesn't fit me very well. Hmm. I can't see out of the eye holes and the feathers keep poking me. I'm sorry, Scarlet. I don't think I'm going to be able to wear this. Oh. Olaf will have to find someone else to play Donald Duck if he wants them to wear this costume. <sighs> Could you break the bad news to him? Why? I don't want to break the bad news. 
Oh, great. Make me the one to break the little snowman's heart. I have a feeling he won't be that upset. No worries, Anna. I'll let him know. Like, he'll be upset, but Olaf's very understanding. Oh. Uh, but I'm sure there's someone else here whom the mask will fit perfectly. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Oh my god, it's so freaking amazing. Y'all see that? I love it. Excuse me. Hi. I find oh. myself in need of some help. Yes, I was looking for you. Oh, I pet my pet and said. Nope. Olaf. There we go. Hi, it's me. Um, why are you bringing the Donald Duck mask to me? Anna's the one who'll, who'll wear it. It doesn't fit Anna. She can't see out of it. We'll need to find someone else to play the role. <laughs> gasp. Oh, no. I know he didn't say gasp, but uh, that was funnier. Uh, the show will be ruined. Villagers are already buying their tickets and starting to gather. Deep breath in and out. Okay, who else could play Donald Duck? <sighs> We need someone who's brave and plucky and leaps into danger without a thought for themselves and, and, <laughs> um, Scarlet, would you try on this Donald Duck mask? I had a feeling it was going to come back to me. I was waiting for you to ask. I'd be the perfect star. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no way. Please, no, I can't. If you need, <laughs> sigh. If you need me, I'll do it. If you need me, I'll do it. Hooray! Uh, I see one big problem. I don't know the lines. Oh, that's okay. You could just make it up. The most important thing is ever or is embodying the character. Here, put the Donald Dusk. I always want to say Donald Dusk. Donald Duck mask on and let's rehearse. Well, I guess that's it. Bye. I guess that's it. I have to wear the Donald. Can I put it on from here? Oh, no. Oh, hell yeah. Look at me. I am amazing looking. Donald Duck? Is that you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know it's you under there, but you look wonderful. From a few feet away, someone could really mistake you for the actual Donald Duck. I don't know. I, I doubt it. I look nothing like Donald. I can hardly see in this thing. I doubt it. Okay, let's rehearse. He didn't even say anything to that. Ah, it is I, the courageous woodsman and ice deliverer, Kristoff. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm Donald Duck. Uh, <laughs> I'm the vigil or vi valiant hero Donald Duck, the dashing double nail Donald Duck. I'm Ronald Ruck. Kind of want to say that. I'm going to say the hero one, I guess. Psst, great job so far, Scarlet. Oh, thank you, Olaf. Together, my feathered friend and I are on a quest to stop the forgetting and restore the valley. Gasp. Who's that over there? It's some sort of duck entity stealing the orb of courage. Psst, it's time for your big line, Scarlet. Ah, fooey. <laughs> to infinity and beyond, or Wally. -E. Uh, I want to say to infinity and beyond, or Wally, -E, because I just know, obviously, I'm supposed to say ah, fooey, but I'll say it. Perfect! It's like you're guided by the spirit of Donald Duck himself. Quick! The dark entity is escaping through that mysterious portal. Psst. Okay, Scarlet, it's time for your big stunt. Leap into the air like you're jumping through a portal into a dark, mysterious world. Don't worry, I'll nail this part. Don't worry, I got this. I posted three more stories? Yes! You'll have about ten minutes of story time when stream Yay! <laughs> I can't wait to see those. Thank 
thank you, Plasmid, so much for the lurk. Gotta make dinner. Enjoy your dinner, Plasmid, whatever it is that you are having. I hope it is absolutely delicious. And thank you so much for the lurk. I appreciate you. Uh, I'll stop you, you vile villain. Jump, leap, all that good stuff. Perfect. That stunt was very convincing. Thank you. As for your performance overall, it was amazing. This is the role you were born to play. Now all we need to do is set up the stage in the Frosted Heights so we can put on the play. I love how Olaf, when he wants to give you something, he turns around and like the way he turns around to give it to you is cute. Okay, do I have to keep, I'll keep this on until the task is over. Place the stage anywhere in Frosted Heights, gotcha. I'll be Donald Duck until I'm done. Um, how big is it? Oh my lord, it's humongous. Frick, I'm gonna have to move a few things. Um, I kind of want to just put it right here. So... Oh. Oh, it doesn't fit. Frick. Ta-da! Oh, I was just like, oh my, oh my god, what? Oh my goodness. Wait, can I turn this around? Why am I backwards? I don't, I'm not gonna be able to get Donald in the picture. He's behind mother. Nala's going through Anna. V, change camera mode. Oh, well, that's not really what I wanted. Because I want everybody. There we go. This is so awkward. Well, it's just going to be an awkward photo. Actually, it's only the camera frame. Change image format. Oh, there we go. Much better. Frickin' big old giant tree. Okay, I'm gonna have to do it like this. I can barely see Olaf down there and Donald's gonna be hidden. Cause he's behind mother, but I can't do nothing about Donald back there. Hell yeah. Um, sure, it's the best it's gonna get. I think another one? No, I guess Mother's just not gonna look at the camera. Mother and Simba are just not gonna look at the camera for me. Okay, good enough. Put on all uh, uh, olives. <laughs> Olaf's play. Now talk to Olaf. Gotcha. Actually, I'm glad I left the mask on. I knew there was gonna be a picture, but it didn't really dawn on me that it would be great with the the Donald head. And Donald's freaking out in the back room. Anyway, we brought joy back to the valley. So many villagers came out to see our play. Anna, Buzz, Donald, Donald, Samantha. Who's Samantha? Who's Samantha? <laughs> I'm not sure, but I hope she enjoyed. I hope she enjoyed the play. I feel like we didn't just tell a story together. We lived mm. one. We did, and I want you to take the stage and all of the cutouts we made. Oh. Now you can use them to decorate the village however you'd like. Oh, and I've got something special for you. Mm. Before Elsa made me my permafrost, she gave me a flurry to follow me around so I wouldn't melt and I asked her to make you one just like it. It's a little reminder of me that you can have with you always. <laughs> I hope we get to tell a lot more stories together, Scarlet. God, oh, ah, Donald shot it! 
I want to see what this is. Um, what would that be under? Oh, wait, this is furniture. Nah, <laughs> not that. I hope the food tastes just how you like it. It does. Oh, thank you for the bong. I just grabbed a beef jerky stick that our friend brought over the other day. So yummy. Um, what is this cloud that he gave me? I don't know what it'd be considered, so I just put all. Oh, I could go get those ears because they only have black and purple. I had a lot more clothes than I thought. Wait, what is it? Wait, it's not a wardrobe? Or it is a wardrobe. The second one? Wait, the second what? Bin jerky? No, I'm not bin jerky. Today. Beef jerky. Hats? I have no idea what Olaf just gave me. I mean, I know what he just gave me, but I don't know what he gave me. I don't want this on my face anymore. I'm gonna wear the these, the gamer headphones, or gamer ears, I mean. Typo snow. I don't care if it was a typo. I'm gonna say that. It's just like last night. When it was supposed to be, what was it supposed to be? Butt smacks. And it came up with butt snacks. So now everything is butt snacks. I don't know what he just gave me. Oh, the second story. It's called, oh my God, a jiggly wiggly tickle pickle. Oh my. It's, um, <clears throat> yes. Um, well, by the name, sounds amazing. <laughs> I can't wait. So question, DVD anniversary starts tomorrow. What's happening? Tomorrow is the chapter release. So tomorrow, the only thing happening is the brand new chapter will come out and then um, uh, any like bug fixes and stuff that they have planned will come out. I think the anniversary starts next week, if I'm not mistaken. I think the anniversary starts next week. Tomorrow, I think, is just chapter release. And then honestly, with the chapter or with the anniversary, I actually don't know what's happening. <laughs> I, I haven't kept up with a lot of what's going on with the anniversary event other than um, I know we'll get like last year we'll get new masks and stuff. But other than that, I don't know much about it. Okay, I, I, I don't care about whatever Olaf gave me. I don't have patience for that. Okay, what else do I got? Do I still have to wait? I'm gonna go raid people's houses real quick to see if I can find today's... Uh, what's... Oh, I think that means I have something to do there. Uh, to find today's, um... Bum, 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 words. Uh, little green men. It's next week to thought it starts about... No, I think... I think that you can't quote me on that. I think chapter releases tomorrow and then the 21st, if I'm not mistaken, was um, the anniversary event started. Okay, she doesn't have any. Like I said, can't quote me on that because I've been so freaking out of the loop anyway. It is, you looked it up, oh, thank you. So I wasn't wrong, wow. <laughs> yeah, I was right. In other words, Ryan, I was right. <laughs> Say it. Say 
Scarlet was right. But I was actually not positive I was right, but that doesn't mean anything. So tomorrow what I'm gonna do, I have to go outside and do some yard work because it's gonna be nice, but tomorrow I'm gonna buy the chapter and then I'm going to sit and spend my possibly 3 million BP on the new characters. Because right now I've got like 2 point, uh, 2 million, like 75,000. Hey, and then tomorrow's rank reset, so I'll get rank reset points. She can't hear you gotta let my dogs out. Don't worry, I'll remind you later. I'll tell you later. And then I'll tell you again later and later and again and again. The anniversary event kicks off on June 21st. That's what I thought I remember. Cause I thought the same thing. I think it was like last week or something when I was deciding when to come back to streaming, I didn't want to miss the anniversary start or the new chapter. So I think I had looked it up last week or whenever to make sure I wasn't missing it and to decide when I wanted to come back and everything. And then I saw that uh, the anniversary event started the next week and I was like, oh, thank God, because I, at the time I was looking this up, I had barely played DBD at all. Like I was so far behind on the rift that I'm almost done with now. And I was like, I got so much to do. I can't, you know, the anniversary event and the new chapter. And oh my God, so overwhelming. But then I found out that, yeah, it came out the next week and it made me a lot happier that I had at least a week to enjoy the new chapter uh, before jumping into the anniversary event that I'm actually excited for. I like events. They're, they're a lot of fun. I, I think the, the last one, though, not the last one, but the... um. Bum, bum, bum. Did they call it Bone Chill this year? Or past year? Uh, the one with the snowmen was a little disappointing. But all the rest have been fun. And I'm really happy they continued with the uh, Masquerade event. Because I love that kind of stuff. And I'm excited to, to get um, more Masquerade items for characters. I forget who's getting it this year. I saw it. I watched the anniversary broadcast. Um, I didn't watch it live, but I watched it later. But that was so far, so long ago and so much has happened. Ah, screen man. That I don't remember everything and I don't remember who's getting all the masks this year. I'm trying to think of whose houses I haven't checked. I wish I had BP to spend on Gabe. I've been saving my BP specifically for the new chapter. Like I've been playing off stream, like I was playing last night. So when I'd hit the 2 million, I'd spend a little tiny bit so that I could get, you know, not wasting my time. Well, I wouldn't say that, but just because I had 2 million and since I was still playing, it's like, ah, well, I'm gathering BP. I'll just spend a little bit on my Michaela and everything. But um, I got today's login reward, which I think was what? 50,000 BP? And then there was the new code that came out, which I forget how much was it was, but I got that one. So I've got like t over 2 million at the moment. Then rank resets tomorrow. Yes. So you should have points if you've been playing, which I do. And um, I'm gonna put it into both the Singularity and Gabe and whatever's left over. Once they each get Prestige 1, I'll put into Gabe because I'd rather have his three perks unlocked before the killers. Because I'm a survivor main. I don't even know what his perks do. Like, because I didn't play him on the PTB and I didn't pay much attention. I have no idea what his perks do. I 
Uh, did I get all the ones for today? Oops. Seven of fifteen. I I got like one more, I think. Speaking of codes, did you put in all the codes in your Discord for this game? I believe I did, yes. I'm like 99% sure I did. Eerie one of the Oh, here's one. I'm <laughs> What did I get to last night? I don't know if I said out loud. I think I'm still eerie for a survivor. Which I don't know if I'm obviously I'm not making to Yuri one this this season because it's tomorrow. And I never played killer. I haven't played killer in two months. This would be the second season. I went in there. Um, this will be the second season that where I did not play killer once. So I get no BP. For my killer. Which I'm okay with! But at the same time, I would like the extra BP because I, like I said, I want to, as soon as possible, get Gabe to uh, Prestige 3 so his all three perks are, are there and I don't have to think about it anymore. Like, none of my killers, except for I think the Artist and Dredge, are past P1. Did I go in Maui's house? I think I did. I've been talking, so I don't know. I'm just looking in everyone's house for the... I think I went in hers, too. For the little green guys, and I think I got them all for today. You're a gold three? Gold three ain't nothing to be ashamed of, though. DVD just hasn't been at the top of my list. And it was kind of the same. Or not even, like, at the top of my list, but being just so busy with my mom and everything, and then just, like, after everything happened, I just didn't want to do anything. I didn't play DVD barely at all for about... I don't even know how long it was. A couple weeks. And I played one day solo just to kind of, like, take my mind off everything. And this was before... For, um, when I was still taking care of my mom. And then uh, I I don't think I barely pipped it all that day. And I played quite a bit the last like week-ish. Two weeks, I think. So I've gotten up to Eerie 4. But I'm so freaking happy that before everything started happening that I grinded it and I got up to like Silver 2 within like the first few days of Rank Reset. So it was a little easier to get at least up to Yuri 4, but I ain't, I ain't making it. I'll be on later if you want to play some. I did want to do some killer first. No, you do killer first and then I'll play with you if you want to play survivor. But if you want to play killer first, no, I want you to play killer first. But I'd totally be down to playing some later just because it's DBD and I love playing DBD. But as always, I want you to do what you want to do first, anyway. Let's go to this one. My killer rank is ass four. Survivor rank is ass two. <laughs> hey, that's not bad though, ass two. I'm ass four, it's a uh, killer two. I've been that way, I have not touched killer. Other than the PTB and playing the singularity. Why is there like... I thought these were sponges. <gasps> Thank you for the hydration. I thought these were sponges laying on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you do you. <laughs> You do you, Ryan. Ah, oh, oh my god. I mean, my ice water. Love you, I'm a drive! Glad you are back. Thank you, Magic, so much for being here. I love you too, and safe drives home, and I'm glad to be back, and I'm glad to have seen you, and you were here hanging out. I appreciate you so much. Love you dearly. And again, safe drives home, and I'll talk to you later. I played Ghostface and Legion around the first or second of June, nice. Yeah, I haven't touched killer. Like I, a couple times I've wanted to play like, cause Dredge is my love. 
I freaking love my Dredge and I love, love playing him. And a couple of times I felt like I've wanted to play Killer. And then I don't know what happens. Like, I don't know. I, I can't honestly say like when I feel like playing, if I've just like got out of it because I just did, wasn't on my computer or started doing something else. And I don't know. I just haven't at all. Hugs to you later. Hugs to you later, Magic. Hugs to you too later, Magic. I messed that up. But love you, Magic. Water for the, from the squirts? Yeah. Sure. Yes. Why not? challenges but it was fun i keep freaking wanting to do that because i get those daily um those daily rituals and i try and get rid of like the ones i don't like so when i get like a nurse one try and get rid of that one as fast as possible and i never freaking get survivor ones uh but i've had like i think i've got a freddy one stuck on there that i should play and for the longest time, I had Pyramid Head on there as a challenge because I love playing Pyramid Head. He's like probably my second favorite to play. I don't know. Him and the artist, I both love playing. But anyways, and I've been wanting to do the challenges, but then I ended up with playing Survivor. I'm supposed to watch a movie tonight with the husband, but I want to play Diablo. <laughs> um... Uh, uh, I have advice, but I don't think you should take my advice. <laughs> well, whatever you do tonight, Magic, I hope you enjoy your evening. Watch a movie, then play Diablo. That's my suggestion. Or well, play Diablo until he wants to watch the movie. Or is ready. That's what you should do. Uh, experiment number 243. The Forgotten is getting to me. I can rely on my own memory. I must write everything down in a book. Least I forget. Hell. Not me. If I don't write it down, I ain't remembering shit. What am I here for? See? I don't even know why I'm here. Order Scar's lounge chair from Scrooge. Got it. Good day to you. I don't think I do. But I'm gonna watch a movie with him. I think that's a good idea. Oh, the movie's freaking three hours? Yeah, you might not have time to play after them. Because I was like, yeah, watch the movie, play after. But damn, what are you guys going to watch? What are you guys going to watch? It's three hours. I was debating it, and I just decided to play Killer. As Ghostface, I had some fun survivors. They vied with me. As Legion, I went a bit harder, but didn't get many hooks. Don't you hate that? When you try your best, go a little bit harder and you don't get any. Or I wouldn't say any, but many. I can't play Legion anymore. I should try again, but every time I play Legion, I start getting bored. And Ghostface, I don't like being sneaky. Usually with Ghostface, I end up just like memeing around because I just don't want to play him anymore. I think I need to go to sleep. My eyes are bothering me. If you need sleep, Tony, go get sleep. I'm sorry your eyes are bothering me. I hope you feel better soon. I don't know if I said that earlier. I saw what you've been saying that you haven't been feeling well. And I don't know if I said it, but I hope you start feeling better soon. Those cat ears are cute. My Mickey ears? Oh, you mean, oh, the cat ears. Sorry, the ones right there. I'm going to buy them. I forgot. I have purple and black, but I need to get the white ones. Titanic. Hell yeah. Everybody should watch that. I That one's, those are the fastest what three hours ever i could watch that movie and then turn it back on as soon as it ends and watch it again oh the new avatar movie <gasps> your husband hates that movie no that hurts my soul <laughs> that hurts my soul No, Hawk, you hate that movie too. No, anybody who hates that movie is not allowed to be here. <laughs> it is my all-time favorite movie of all time. Like, I know I tell you guys I love The Nightmare Before Christmas, as you can see with some of my channel stuff, but that one takes the cake. That one takes the cake. I have in the past watched titanic as soon as the movie ends i have turned it back on and watched it again because i love it that much 
Good night, Danny. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you so much for the reset as well earlier. So good to hang out and see you. But get good sleeps. And I hope you feel better soon. That's why you need to not run normal Legion. I don't run normal Legion builds. I don't know what it was running. Probably my normal build I run on freaking every killer. I run like surveillance. Frick, I forgot the name of the perk. Oppression. And then like two, like some kind of aura reading perk and then whatever the hell I feel like after. I don't run no normal Legion builds. I love the Romeo and Juliet movie more with Leo. I'm not sure I've seen it. I may have seen it long time ago, but it does not ring a bell. Never seen an Avatar movie other than the cartoon, the Avatar, the last airbender. I've never seen any Avatar movie either, honestly. I don't, I haven't seen the cartoon. Well, I shouldn't say I've never seen the cartoon. I've probably seen episodes here and there when it's like, come on, and I just too lazy to turn the channel or I can't find anything else. But I've never, Donald, oh my God, you followed me in here. But I have never seen uh, any of the air uh, the airbenders and the avatar movies either it was like one of those ones where it was like so big you like the first one it was so freaking popular and big the first one that i was kind of like one of those people like i don't want to see it i'm tired of hearing about it i don't want you know blah 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 blah, blah, blah all that stuff and then ever since i've just never ever ever gotten to around to it because i just i don't know I mean, I might like it. I can't say it. I can't say I wouldn't. But it was just that movie you freaking heard it all the time. And I'm one of those people when something is so popular, I wait for like 20 years to watch it. <laughs> but yeah, I just never saw it. I need to try a different perk because I mean, you probably aren't wrong. But I get bored playing Legion because I get tired of frenzying. And then I just stop frenzying because I'm hoping people finish Gen so the game will go faster. You and I have a movie day. You are watching it with me. I mean, I'm not going to protest that. I'd do that. I could definitely watch it. Yeah. Watching the Romeo and Juliet movie, not Avatar. Yeah. I'd totally be down for that. I like I said, I don't think I've ever seen it. I may have, but I don't. I'm like 99% sure I haven't. Because I used to watch a lot of his movies. Like, well, I still do because I do think he's a good actor. But back in the day, right around when Titanic came out and I was a little girl, I liked him a lot. Nowadays, I don't care that much, but. So I used to watch a lot of his movies, but I don't think I did. Ah. Has only watched about 10 minutes of Avatar. <laughs> I don't think I've seen any. I don't think I've seen any. I may have seen, I've seen clips. How do I find what Scar wants? Or is this for Nala? I guess I can order Nala's thing too. Oh, never mind. Sorry, this is Scar's lounging rock that Nala wants. My bad. I need to, I need to buy these cat ears. Greetings, neighbor. They have black and purple. We found out. Good day to you. I want this too. Thank you kindly. Pretty sure I have that backpack and in that color. Humans are amazing. They discover, they create. I mean, just look at this. Frick you, Donald. <laughs> I used to know all the lines by heart. Ah, oh, this look cute. I used to, oh, actually, I still do know almost all the lines of Titanic by heart. <laughs> Even for being a three hour movie, I, I could probably recite the movie by heart. I've seen it so many damn times. And like I said, sometimes if I don't know what else to play or watch, I'm watching it and I'm turning it back on because I want to watch it again. I hate how I have two quests right now that are uh, placing items. I have to place seating, I have to place this. I'm waiting on this, and then I have to collect those later. So I guess we'll just go place some stuff. Place landscape furniture. Gotcha. 
I used to watch Romeo and Juliet every day after school, freshman year of high school on repeat. So I've seen it around 300 times. That's like me and Titanic, same. This place is starting to look amazing. I would turn it on like some days after school. I would watch it on the weekend. I even, like I said, I'll watch it back to back because it's a long movie. Once the movie's over, what happened three hours ago was three hours ago. So we can watch it again. And I've probably seen Titanic around that many times. Maybe not 300, but a lot of times. Well, yeah, yeah, I got you. Like same, totally the same. Should we put this like, let's put this in here. Oops, I want it at an angle, but I guess I'm meant to put it here. Oh, okay, I got to put some trees down. Wait, what's the other one? Oh, nothing now, okay. I mean, any of them, even if they don't really like fit on the beach. Meh, I'll make them fit more on the beach. Let's put some, no, we have plenty of palm trees. How do I rotate the camera angle? Rotate camera. Yeah. Yeah, let's just put some random crap down because in all honesty, I don't care right now. Ball and trunk, sounds good. Like, oops, like right there, was that seven? I'm not counting. Ah, damn, I put down six. Oops. Damn, all right, one more of these. Cool, that looks great, love it. I love the music from Encanto. I couldn't think of the name. I was like, the the Mirabelle movie. Oh, hey there. It's done. I've got the perfect territory set up for you on Dazzle Beach. <laughs> I don't know if I would go so far saying perfect, but it's pretty good. Uh, thank you. I really appreciate it. And now I can teach you to pounce, just like someone I learned to do as cubs. <gasps> I freaking loved that game in one of like the old classic Disney movies. Or not movies, uh, games. I forget what the game was, but it taught you how to pounce on Zazu. That was so much fun as a kid. What? But anyways, before we start, you're not really dressed for pouncing lessons. You need to be protected from the heat of the sun and ready to hide in the underbrush. Since you don't have fur like I do, maybe you could find some of those coverings you wear on your body. I'm clothes. Hence what I'm wearing. Great, I'll put on some more, oh, rustic clothing. Oh, and whiskers! You'll need some sort of whiskers. Humans really don't have those, not true. Uh, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> I was gonna say, we humans call our whiskers mustaches. Hmm. That's what I was thinking. And, and you use these mustaches to navigate and detect what's around you? I'm a girl, so I don't know, but maybe. Sort of. <laughs> Good. Okay, I'll make sure I'm wearing whiskers for this. No, I want like real whiskers. Like I want like little kitty whiskers. Wait a minute, game. Let's meet on Dazzle Beach when you're ready for your first bouncing lesson. Thank you. Wait, uh, put on some whiskers. A mustache should do the trick, I. I need to go dress up in rustic clothing. I'm gonna do. What I should do is go to my house and get dressed. And I know I don't have to, but I'm going to. 
My new Steam name? Oh, no, no, no. Let me go look. Let me go look. I must see this. Friends. 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 Oh, my God. SK. <laughs> I approve. I approve. Are those the sandals I'm wearing? No, it would show. Okay, wait, let me put on the... We'll just put on these sandals for now. Hell yeah! Put on a handlebar mustache! <laughs> I look so sus right now. I look so sus. Like, I got, I got, I don't know. I got secret. That's what I look like. I got secret. I mean, not like bad, 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 bad little beach. Oh, no. Oh, there she is. I'm I actually don't mind that tree there. I'm being completely honest. Hi. I'll have to rearrange a little bit, but... Uh, oh, no. You always do it backwards. Why do you hip at me and then bonk me? I appreciate it, though. I do. But ow! I looked over the beach. You've done a wonderful job. Now there are plenty of trails or pouncing or of trails. Ugh. Now there are plenty of trails and pouncing spots for us. And your covering should work well. I mean, I guess I got my mustache on. Perfect as always. No, I never say that. It should be good enough for our expedition. These whiskers make me feel ridiculous. No! I love it! I don't want to say perfect. I don't I don't like saying that. Uh, it should be good enough for our expedition. It looks... It looks right. Okay, we're ready to start. We just need to lie and wait. Let me teach you how to pounce. I'm already an expert pouncer. Possibly. Uh, I could use all the pouncing tips I can get. I'd rather just get my food from the grocery store. Kind of. Is that some kind of watering hole? No. No. I'd rather get my food from the grocery store. Uh, kind of. But I guess we don't have one of those in the valley. Just Goofy stall. You can't always rely on that for food. Someone around here needs to hunt. Yeah, not me. I ain't a hunter. I don't like hurting animals. Just follow my lead and stay quiet. Aww. I'm sad we don't get to play a mini game to that. I wonder why this isn't working. You do have prey here, don't you? Uh -huh. Antelope, zebras, gazelles, maybe a wildebeest? No. We just don't have many animals like that in the valley. Most animals were here. Most animals around here are my friends. We got lots of fruits and vegetables. I could bake you a cake instead. Hell yeah! I'm all about the baking. I can bake you a cake. That doesn't exactly sound like food for a lion. Nonsense. Everybody loves cake. Oh, I know. You could eat fish. We got lots of fish. Mm, not too good at fishing. I don't do very well with water. Don't worry, Nala. Just watch and I'll show you how I fish. I'm great at it, so you'll learn. I'm okay at it. We'll be... We'll practice together. Fair warning, I'm terrible at it. Fair warning, I'm terrible at it. In real life, yes. This game, no. Unless it was Animal Crossing. I'm sure you're not that bad, but let's find out. I'll try to catch some fish to show you. And maybe I'll even catch a few rare or unique fish... So you can see that it's not so tough. Thank you. 
You're welcome. Catch a common or uncommon fish. Catch rare or unique fish to show Nala it's not so tough. What's considered rare and unique? Oh, I don't know how to fish. I was pushing the wrong button. Oh, my beef jerky gave me the hiccups. Okay, so that's come. I'm kind of assuming the rare or unique would probably be the gold ones. You know, a part of me wants to keep my mustache on. Like forever. Yes. What's up, Ryan? Ah! Oh! <laughs> Oops. It's not that hard, Nala. Really, it's not. I just missed my skill check. Which is not uncommon either. I wasn't paying attention. Scarlet's attention span was gone there for two seconds. A wall, yes, I was right, it's the uh, gold bubbles. Cinderella, Cinderella. Got a picture of Cinderella. All right, let's go over here. I sent you the greatest sports interview of all time. I need technician. I mean, you're not wrong on that one. The greatest sports interview of all time, eh? Can I have a hint to why it's the greatest sports interview of all time? You have piqued my curiosity. What's blue? Or, I mean, I know what blue is, but would blue be considered? Can I get it from here? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so blue is considered rare and unique. Cool. Look, Nala, after I screwed up the first couple, it's not that hard. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Hi. College baseball kid from, bleh, from Virginia. All right, all right. Oh, if my dog starts barking, I apologize. There's people walking by. Let me make sure he doesn't bark. Don't you think about it. People can walk by. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Dippin' Dots and self-censored cards <laughs> Ah, uh, now I'm intrigued even more. Now I must see what this is. I will be good and I will watch it after stream, but I'm more intrigued. You done barking? Okay. Why does my VTuber, when I turn my head, go all sideways? Uh, you caught so many fish. I guess we have a lot to learn from each other. <laughs> But maybe we should eat first. Oh, I'm starving. I mean, I'm kind of hungry too. Hey, that's another thing I can teach you. How to cook. The art of fine cuisine. Usually we humans would prepare fish before eating it. We could do nothing. We could throw them away. Or no, 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 no. That'd be wasteful. We could throw them back into the water and let them live their happy lives. Wrap them in rice and suey to make sushi. Grill them with some nice vegetables. Stick them in between bread to make a sandwich. I'm gonna stick them in between a bread uh -huh. to make a sandwich. 
Because a sandwich is much better than the other two. Uh, you're the expert, but whatever we do, could we do it fast? My stomach's grumbling. Don't worry. Maybe we, you can relax near the resting spot I made for you while I make some food. Goodbye. Goodbye. Get any fish meal for Nala. Um, okay. You're sideways? I mean, in more ways than one, yes. I'm not sideways now, though. Even though my VTuber wants to be, but nah. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, I was fixed. You are a sight for sore eyes. Oh shucks, thank you. Um, no, I'll just go home and make food. I wonder if I have one in my fridge. Which, by the way, I never put my butter away. It's probably melted. I have an oyster platter. Is that considered fish? I mean, to me, it's fish. No, well, let me. Okay, let me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> me and my mustache. I look so epic. <laughs> I'm totally leaving that, but I want to change my sheep. I want these ones back on. But hail to the uh, rock and the mustache. I'm assuming this won't be fish, but I'll try. If I lose it, I don't care. I had it in my fridge for whatever reason. What time is it? 5.30? Oh, wow, it's 5.30? Uh, I don't think I'll start any more of the unfor unforgiving. Uh, the forgetting challenges today, just because those were rough. Where the hell did she go? Why did I do that? Why did I teleport to the thing I'm standing next to? But I've only got about a half hour left, so... Oh, hey there. Thunder? Oh, someone's banging around outside. Ew. Thank you. That's not what I wanted. Hello. Doesn't say that I could give it to her, but I'm not so I'm not going to. So she wants teriyaki salmon and seared rainbow trout. I wonder if I can make either of those. Goodbye. Kill two birds, whoops. Kill two birds with one stone here. I cannot make that. <gasps> oh, excuse me. I can make teriyaki salmon though, so I'll make her that. I'm assuming that would be good enough. Oh yeah, I think it's, I think it's storming outside. But. Thank you. Uh, this looks mm. great, but I think anything would look good to me right now. I'm so hungry. I could eat a whole water buffalo. May I? Oh, but oh, so you can eat the food. You can't eat the water buffalo. Enjoy. Bon appetit. Here goes. Well, one thing's for sure. <laughs> That was much better than grubs. Now that you've helped me with the hunting grounds, I'll do what I can. I don't think that counted as a gift, by the way. Um, I'll do what I can to find, to keep finding food and watch for danger. Watch out for danger. Uh, you're a really good friend. Shucks. 
Aw, thanks, so are you. I just do my best and hope it works out. I know, I'd make a great lion. Rawr. Does that still work? I don't know, things on my stream broke. <laughs> See, I'm a great lion. Uh, that means a lot. With both of us looking out for this valley, I think everything is going to be just fine. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Did that count? Ma'am. Grr, that didn't count. So we'll make another one because, uh, do I have blue? I don't think I do. I'll make another one just because I need to get her friendship up anyway. And I don't know how to make the one thing, which is not a big deal. I don't feel like doing cooking now anyway. Oh, really? Ooh. Ooh, I want to watch that. That's going to be good, I bet. Oh, uh, <laughs> you got me so excited. I didn't know what I was doing anymore. Okay, there. Her French is up to at least three. See, I haven't played this the Lion King at all. Nala and I think Simba are still both at like level three. Oh, she's gardening, huh? So I did have someone as gardening. I had Nala apparently as gardening. No, I don't have any blue. What does Simba want while I'm here? I might be able to make pumpkin puffs. I have no idea what sweet udon is. Pumpkin puffs. Or not give back. Let's give this to Simba. Hey, and I guess we'll have to do the, the seating thing. Because I don't think I have anything else to do. Uh, I'm oh. not doing no more of the... I'm not doing no more of the... Uh, I don't know why I keep wanting to say the unforgiving. Uh, the forgetting because that was too deep. I mean, it was fine, but it was still too deep and I don't want to go into any more of that today. I can't do this. I have to wait for everyone to finish their tasks. So I'm assuming that'll be like tomorrow. I could go get the quest from the fairy godmother and try and get Nala up to, I don't think I'll be able to get her up to level four. We could take her gardening, I guess, but we'll go do some seeding things. Actually, first I'll go talk to Fairy Godmother to open up the quest so I don't forget. July 1st, money in the bank, let's go. I wanna watch. Well, hopefully there's more good than just that. <laughs> Which I'm assuming there's gonna be some good matches. Just with what you've showed me. Is Merlin following me? No, he's not. I'd assume there'll be something around the Usos and Roman Reigns and all that. I don't know, but I'm assuming something would be around them. Mm -hmm. All right, let's open this quest. My dear, would you have time for a little chat about the Forgotten Lands? Of course. Splendid. Now, first, I would like to know, do you think it's a place of woe? Personally, I love it. I love the mood of the place. I'm pretty neutral about it. It gives me nightmares. I don't know if it's the mood, but I love the aesthetic to it. So I'm going to say that. Mm. 
Ah, oh, you're like me, marvelous. But I do fear that, sadly, many villagers don't agree. I suspect it's the small blazes scattered about. What do you have in mind? Maybe I can just do something real quick with that. So we'll see. Uh, well, now I've spent some time pondering the problem, and I believe in this case, two enchanters would be most helpful. And lucky for us, there's a second talented enchanter here. Shall we go consult Merlin, my dear? Well, that does it. Goodbye. I guess we'll go consult Mol Molten. Uh, Merlin, whatever the hell his name is. Listen to the fairy godmother and Merlin. Okay, well, let's just follow her. He should be very close because he was following me. Why do I love the way she walks so much? This is stuck on my screen. Uh, ah, my dear old friend, how good it is to see you again. All this forgetting business means we haven't had our little tea time chats in far too long. Oh ho ho, I'd forgotten about that. We must resume as soon as possible. Ah, tree! Now then, why were we... Where'd Merlin go? Oh, oh yes, I'm afraid this is not a social call. Merlin, uh, Merlin, Scarlet and I are on a quest. We're looking for a way to douse the fires in the Forgotten Lands. An industrious question indeed, a quest. Why, I've tried to solve that problem myself, but heh, I'm afraid it's quite the con conundrum. None of my experiments have been successful at all. Well, I'm here now, dear, and I'm sure the two of us will get to the bottom of this little pickle. Ooh, yeah. Uh, oh, I'm afraid neither of us holds the key to solving this. What we need is dreamlight magic. Goodness, yes. Of course. So only Scarlet can manage it. Well, thank you, Merlin. We'll be off, but you and I must meet for tea again soon. We really must. Yes, we must. Can I get this off my screen? There we go. Much better. Well, I'm going to pause it anyways. Uh, Roman versus Jay, maybe. The money in the bank match for the men's and women thing. So it'll be interesting on who they have win that. That's for sure. But you're right. It probably would be them because they seem to be the more... I guess dominant in the storyline. Everyone wants LA night. LA night. Ah! Hi, Mojo! Everyone wants LA night to win it for the men's side because someone brought up a rival with him and Seth will be awesome because they both great talkers. Honestly, that would probably be really good to watch. I just like thinking about it. I uh, just wanted to stop by and poke my head in. Nice to see you back and have a wonderful stream and stream, you angelic human being. Thank you, Mojo. It's so good to see you. Thank you so much for popping in and saying hi. I appreciate you. I hope you've been well. LA Knight is hugely underrated. Saw his work in Impact and NWA Future Superstar there. I cannot do his thing, so I'm not even going to attempt it because it'll be bad. <laughs> but I think that would be fun to watch. Take care, Mojo. Thank you so much for everything. You are an amazing human being. And I appreciate you so much. I'm just like thinking about it. I think that I would like to see that. And like I was saying, I think it would be. Uh, I could see it being Roman versus Jay. Because like I said, Jay seems to be the more vocal. I guess during the... Not even vocal, but you know what I mean? Like, if you've been watching it. Thank you, Mojo, so much for the lurk. I appreciate you. But I can see that, is what I'm trying to say. In a short term of my brain wandering off and thinking, I think you're right. I've lost the fairy godmother. Where did she go? How the hell did she get down there so fast? All right, well, I'm glad 
don't know this isn't- Excuse me, my dear. I've been able to progress this a little bit without any more deep stuff. Uh, I have good news and bad news. To the fiery pollution, we found a solution. But fighting such a flame is no mere game. You must rely on your dream life magic. Enchanting my royal watering can should do the trick. Let's figure it out together. Can you think of any ingredients to use? Magic water beats magic fire, I guess. <laughs> you think of any ingredients to use? Of course, child. Now, hmm, let's see. Perhaps we could use some tourmaline. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Against the fire, fires, green color, some snow melts to make everything cooler. Dream, shard, dream shards to seal the spell and purple impatience, so all will be well. I'll gather everything you, I'll gather everything. You can count on me, and then what's the next step? Put everything in an empty vial to create an icy enchantment and apply, and apply, oh, she didn't rhyme there, damn it. And then apply it to your watering can. Ma'am, you're supposed to rhyme every sentence. You disappoint. I've got everything but the empty vial. Let's go. Hoarding Scarlet loves, or wait, excuse me. Past Hoarding Scarlet loves Future Scarlet. No, Future Scarlet, I said that backwards. <laughs> future Scarlet loves Past Hoarding Scarlet. That's it. It's getting late. I haven't streamed in two weeks. I don't know what I'm saying. Bam. Bam, done. Easy peasy. Use it on your inventory. Use it on your inventory. Use it in your inventory. Hey, Elsa, do you like my mustache? <laughs> she, she, oh, she's loving it. Mm. Hell yeah, you see her? She's checking me out. Mm. And Elsa, Ariel back there is kind of sus of our new friendship me and Elsa have here. Hi, oh. She's waving her over because she's jealous. She's like, Anna, come over here. Get away from her. Uh, Use your watering can to remove the fire. Okay. Use your watering can to remove the green fires in the Forgotten Lands. But I like the green fires! Sometimes, until I get stuck on them, then I hate them. Alright. One. <gasps> can I use it on these? Oh, hey! I can finally get these chests that have been in the ground for like ages. Hold up, I was getting rid of not the right things. I know there's more. Bam. Is it just money? No, there's not like some special gift in here. Eh, I'll wait and get the rest. Um, report back to Mother, Mother God, Fairy. There she is. Mother God, Fairy, come back here. Well, well, I love. She's gliding. Hoping to see. Congratulations, child. It worked. Perhaps now, no one will find the land quite so eerie. Well, I only did five. Um, though, it certainly is dark and dreary. Yep, walking there is a hazard now. What do you suggest? Dark and dreary, dark and dreary, blah, 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 blah. Dark and dreary, just how I roll? Kind of. Well, <laughs> well, roll you must certainly. Well, roll you must. Most certainly will if you trip on a tree root and fall. Oh. Ha, you funny mother god fairy. Uh, with some lights, paths, and seating, you'll see. Uh, soon it'll be cozy as can be. 
Now I'll just leave that to you. After all, you've done a marvelous job getting the rest of the village looking tip top. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, dear. I'm off. Merlin and I have years of Miss Tea Time chats well, to catch up on. That does it. Goodbye. So, another challenge where I have to put a bunch of crap down on the ground. Man, I hate doing those. All right, um, what time is it? I've got enough time to do a little bit more. Yeah, I'll leave that there. Um, I guess I could go do... I guess I could go do this one. Three seedings, five landscapes in the peaceful meadows. Hey, my character didn't get sideways this time when I turned back to look at Taser. Oh, wait till I tell Slink about this place. He's not gonna believe me. I've got so much crap all over the place, though. My peaceful meadow is very congested. use what I have. There's one. I don't think I like the other ones. <gasps> Purple tree! Wait, why can't I have this one? Ha, ah, easy peasy. We'll just put some stuff in the water. Oh, frick, I need five. Easy peasy. Um, I put a classic green hammock down. Oh, right next to Buzz's house because yeah, you know why not? There, we'll just do uh, my my the whole village is just a clump of random stuff everywhere because I just put stuff down for challenges. And I call it good. And eventually, when I feel like designing and stuff, I will move things around a little more. But lately, I have not felt like that. Oops. And my peaceful meadow is getting very clustered. Look at Simba and Nala eating dinner together. Hi. Uh, the meadow looks amazing now. It really, it's really peaceful. Uh -huh. There's only one thing missing. Oof. Back in the oasis, whenever it got too hot, we would relax in the cool water. I tried it here in a few spots, but others complained that I was scaring the fish. You could always ask Mr. McDuck for a pool. It'd be great to have a place to swim. Hell yes. That's not too deep because I hate water, but pools are not that bad. Uh, I thought cats didn't like water. I'm guessing you want it filled with water and not gold coins. I thought cats didn't like water. Nala certainly doesn't, but I sure do. I can't wait to be able to cool off in the meadow. Yeah, like I ain't gonna be swimming in no lake or nothing like that, but a pool where I can see the bottom and all that, I'm okay. Most of the time. Talk to Scrooge McDuck. Okay. Where 
Where are you? There you are. Good day, dear. Ah, another perfect day for business. And just what are you investing in today? Someone wants to make the valley a little more relaxing and we're missing, and we're only missing a pool. Uh, I came to buy it. Do you have anything like that in stock? How many garnets do you need this time? I don't remember him needing a lot of garnets. Do you have anything like that in stock? As a matter of fact, I do. And I'm ready to make you a one-time offer. Free. You can either order the relaxing oasis or I can trade it to you for some gems. No need to decide right now. Take some time to think about it. So, according to my records, you have enough star coins to order it. Hey, hey, hey. Don't be looking at my bank account. Thank you kindly. Order the pool for 9,000 star coins or trade it by gathering the following. Like Gusto said, anyone can cook. Of course. Well, since I have some people, I don't know who. I mean, I have the money and uh, it's not like I can't do that. But since I literally just put uh, Mother God Fairy as a miner, I could easily just take her with me, get her friendship up and then also get those as well. So I think I'll probably do that. Not right now, but I think I will do that. I never gave her those other flowers. But I'm out of time for today. I'm going to try and get a couple of gifts of some people and then... I have probably a shiny amethyst, but I'll have to go look. Um, and then I'm going to call it for the day. Because all the other quests are going to take some time. I think. Well, the fairy godmother one probably wouldn't take much time, but I don't really feel like doing that. So let's go get a blue lily, or whatever these are called. Give that to Nala. I think I can make mint candy. Ah, oh, perfect. Right there. Meh. Let me go make it real quick. Is anybody else? I haven't been noticing. Is anybody else not level 10? Participate in the special event to unlock! What special event? Oops. Everybody's level 10 and everyone's quests, I think, are done except for Mirabelle, which I'll have to do next time because it says wait for everyone to finish. Her, I'll just do some mining. I got her to level 10. Okay. So, yeah. Ah, Simba. Hey there. Did you want something? I forget who wanted what. Oh, I didn't go get the shiny amethyst. Ah, well. Thanks. Oh, hey there. Passion Lily. Hey, I got her up to level four. Hey. Can I talk to you now? Oh. I like to open their quests before I get off. That way it's just not hovering over their head for a week. If we do play this next week, I don't know what we're playing next Monday. I might wait like another week to start a long story based game, but I'm going to wait and see because I, I just don't know yet. Hi. Uh, I found something strange on one of my patrols. I've been trying to figure it out, but I think I need your help. Sure, uh -huh. what did you find? I was patrolling near I was patrolling near Skull Rock off Dazzle Beach when I smelled something odd. Mm. My whiskers even started twitching. 
Strange smell. Whisker switching. What happened next? Mm hmm. I got closer to investigate and found something buried in the ground that I had washed away the sand on top of it. So I dug it out. It was a small brown thing that looked like me. Like some sort of mystical doll? Like a decoration? <gasps> like a Nola action figure? Yeah. <laughs> What's that? It's like a toy we humans play with. Like Buzz. But looks like you. Uh, they come with lots of features and movable parts. Oh. No, I don't think... No, I don't think that's what that was. Aww. When I was digging it out, I scratched it with my claw. Hmm. Sparks came out of it like it was going to catch fire and my whiskers started twitching even more. Oh, okay. So like a mystical doll. Uh -huh. That's when I decided to come find you. Sounds like another magical mystery. I feel like we're like the Scooby-Doo of Disney. Don't worry, you've come to the right person. I'm no expert. No expert. Expert! But I'll do my best to help you. Maybe you should ask Merlin instead. Don't worry, you've come to the right person. I thought so. You've solved so many problems like this for your pride already. Okay, I'll go find the strange thing on Skull Rock near Dazzle Beach. Goodbye. I'll go grab it. <laughs> I'll go grab it and see what the next thing is. If the next thing is, like, talk to Nala, maybe I'll talk to Nala. God dang it, it's freaking stuck on there again. Okay. This is one of those games, though, it's like, I keep saying, oh, just one more thing, just one more thing, just one more thing. And then all of a sudden, it's like two hours later. This thing? Wait, that's a bottle, wait. Out of the half buried. Okay, so I missed. Nobody saw that. Take it and show it to Nala. What are these bottles in the water? Or what is that? Huh. Hey. Right. All right, let's go talk to Nala so there's not a thingy hovering over her head while I'm offline. No, did she leave? Bitch. How, how did you get over there so fast? Hello. Hello. Uh. Did you find anything strange around Skull Rock? Goodbye. Oh, take a photo of the strange mystical rift to show. You know what? I'll take a photo next time. I'll take a photo next time. I thought it said take it and show her, not take a photo and show her. I had to take a photo of it. So I'm just going to do that next time. I don't have to worry. It's just in my inventory. It's all good. Um, I need to talk to Mother God Fairy real quick. Before I forget, because I have those flowers for her. And the candy, I think. Wave your wand at me. Oh. <laughs> okay, that got her up to level three. Mm. <laughs> and I'll get her up higher because they will probably just do that mining for Scrooge just because. I think I'll leave everything in my inventory too and I'll sell it off stream. I'll go put this one thing down and then I'll get off for the day. 
Because I got to go make the dinner. In like half hour. But I also want to go hang out with my dad for a bit. So we'll put that there. Um, I'll put this back. These are for quests. So I'll put these down here so I don't accidentally do something with them. What is this? I mean, I know what it is, but I don't think I have to open it. Nope. I'm stuck on my fridge. I have 99 clays already, but I'll put that there. Bam, much better. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna leave it there. Before I keep saying I'm gonna do something else, I'm gonna leave it there. Before I get to endeavor and do more. So I didn't do really anything here. Can I get any rewards? No, I like to collect all the big rewards first and then come back and clean up all the little ones. I have 15 of those, but some of these I can do off stream, which maybe I'll do like while I'm eating. No, while I'm eating dinner now, I don't come back to my room. I hang out with my dad. So I'll, I'll, I'll do most of this stuff like off stream like I normally do. So it gets me to playing Disney, but oh no, save. Quits. And we'll go find someone to read out to. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I greatly appreciate it. It's so good to be back. I am so happy to be back. And so unless something just happens to come up, like I have to go do something because there's still things I'm, I have to do um, since my mom passed away. And so there's been things we're having to do like around the house or in just in general. So unless something comes up on the day I stream, I'll make it up maybe another day. But the plan currently is I'll be back on Wednesday, same time as always. Um, do I update this? Did I update this? Hey, I did. So I'll be back Wednesday at 1 p.m. Pacific time and the new chapter for DVD comes out tomorrow. I'll be purchasing it tomorrow and I will spend all my BP tomorrow. So that on Wednesday, we will focus mainly on checking out the new chapter because I really haven't seen much from it other than a little bit from the PTB that I played. Bot matches as the singularity was hard. I didn't like it that much, but I said the same thing about the night, which I don't mind playing. I don't really actually still like playing the Skull Merchant, but both of them playing against bots, I didn't care for. Once I got to live servers, it was a bit better, but I still don't care for her as much. Um, but Wednesday, we'll be focusing mainly on checking out the singularity, trying to get him adepts, um, as well as the new survivor, adept him as well, and just enjoy the new map that's coming out. Any, I don't think there's really many features. I don't really know coming out, but we'll just check out everything from that. And that'll be Wednesday, like I said, unless something comes up, like I have to be gone for some reason. But if that's the case, um, we'll just have to check it out Friday because I, I think I'm busy on Thursday. All right, let me see if I can find someone to read. I don't want to get this person. Hopefully they haven't been on too long. Meaning they're getting off in like five minutes. Now they've only been live for an hour, so we should be safe going over here and not have to worry about them raiding out. Hydration? Wow, right before I leave? Is that like one for the road kind of idea? Will do though. And thank you for everyone for hanging out as well. I appreciate you all so much. It's been so good to be back. It's been so good to feel like normal again, even though things will never really feel normal for me, but as normal as they can get. And I appreciate y'all hanging out with me and being there for me and everything. It's meant the world to me through this hard time, but I could not ask for better friends and a better community to help me through it. So I appreciate y'all. Yup, thank you. I appreciate that. But for now, we're gonna go right over to 
it's Izzy, baby. If you don't know who this is, you're missing out. She's an amazing human being. She is currently playing DVD. Here's my raid commands. I'm glad you're back. We missed you. I missed you too. I missed you all so much. And I'm super happy to be back. And like I said, I'll be back Wednesday unless something comes up because I have to do something. But as of right now, there I have no plans. So other than streaming on Wednesday. So I can't wait to be back. And I can't wait to play DVD on stream because it's been a long time since we've played DVD on stream. And I can't wait to get to it. I know her. I know her too. I played against her as Pyramid Head. I was Pyramid Head and she kicked my ass as Survivor. And she's an amazing human being. I haven't got to raid over to her in a while. So we're going to go say hi to her. If you are sub to the channel, please use the second raid command in chat. If you are not, the first one works the same and shows the same amount of love. And it's all going over to It's Izzy Baby, who is playing Survivor with a friend. And like I said, we played against her when we played as Pyramid Head. And she was a survivor and she kicked my ass. So she's a good survivor and she's an amazing human being nonetheless. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me. I shall see you guys very, very soon. You all have a great start to your week. And if I don't see you here on Wednesday, I'll see you around on Discord and other channels as well. Thanks again for everything. I love you guys so much and bye-bye.